No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today I am here with FaZe Banks and Mike, who we were just debating uh, what we should refer to Mike as, but we're going to go with Mike of Impulsive for, for I, this particular headline. I lobbied for Mike to be Logan Paul's Logan friend. Paul's friend. <clears throat> I wanted my Instagram the fucking handle, but in the titles... He's a micro influencer. Really I don't even deserve. I don't even deserve a title at this point. A micro well, influencer. Three hundred thousand on Instagram, Instagram, dude. Micro influencer. <laughs> three hundred thousand so Hey, listen, he's videos and stuff though. Do you? Why you're, am I left? You're coming up. No, yeah, no, right, you're good. Cool, cool. Um, I just want to say, Mike, that yeah, you are. You're a snake because I. Uh, <laughs> Fuck, I how did I know this was gonna start no, off bad? Because <laughs> when when I the reason why we're all here today is because I said, hey, Mike. We should do a podcast, me, you, and Logan. And he said, well, Logan's brand friendly. Like, I don't know if he's going to be able to do it, but I'll come through with FaZe Banks. <laughs> it's always been supposed to be, like, the FaZe family and then the Paul family. is like, so, different sides yeah, of the so, valley. They're at war. I don't like, know apparently you, not anymore. This, I don't know if you notice this. Hold on a second. I don't know if you notice this, but I'm, I'm squashing beef across all borders, bro. I don't mm. like beef. I like collaboration. I like beef when it's... When it means something, bro. Their beef was <laughs> miscommunication and bullshit. And no, FaZe, fa some of it was, but fa go, and I'll let you go in a second, but FaZe is about the culture, bro. Yachty, Juju, all the, all those people. When I, wanna, when I want the culture to increase on the Maverick side or for Logan or Jake or whatever, it's not going to be through like, yo, what's popping, Logan? It's going to be through working with the right fucking people. And I fuck with FaZe heavy and so i was all about squashing that beef and so i'm happy i did it that's good i don't know so my response would be <clears throat> it wasn't all bullshit it was real drama you know i don't participate in like the fake beef or like the youtube you know we, we know what's what's real what's did not you end real. up walking away from that situation feeling like jake paul was kind of misled by the intern girl who said that she saw you dragging a girl across warwick or whatever the fuck <laughs> wow, it was it, it was back. always hard for me to wrap my head around the idea <laughs> that you honest, would do this, that this in is, public this is exact well dude if anyone that knows me and you specifically i mean we haven't really hung out a lot decent amount <laughs> like decent amount yeah, lately yeah. like i thought the, you guys were besties i mean we kind of are it's just like we're we're working always, on a bestie but, thing. Yeah, yeah. but um yeah bestie in the making i guess maybe but uh, we're just two East Coast dudes, two fucked up East Coast dudes. Yes. You know what I'm phase saying? Phase Mike Paul. Phase. It might happen, bro. He I wants just... the joint phase bad. Bro. And the Paul family. <laughs> no, I just want I just want us all to get I just all want us to gang, side. bro. Like I want us to be like a bunch of different sets just rolling together. But the you know Warwick thing, that's a good question. A lot of people ask me that. This is just exactly what it is. Okay. Jake, at that point in time, I had said nothing, okay? I was like, okay, whatever. This is my girl's ex-boyfriend, whatever. I'm not fuck. I don't care for the drama. I don't know the kid, whatever. It's, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't make a difference to me. I fuck with the girl. Don't know the kid. Don't really care. Um, I think that this girl went and said that some drama happened, and mm -hmm. I think that he was really excited right. to shine light to it. And I think, he, I think that that part of it, maybe made him jump on it a little too quick at not asking enough questions and you know what i mean i mean to the extent of what he did it's 100 percent. you know what i mean it's on him you know what i mean so it doesn't really matter if he if somebody t when you have you have a responsibility with that size of a fucking platform and he like fucked that up and he knows he fucked it up he's apologized to me we obviously the shit with me and him we really did squash the beef there's no reason for me and him to be beefing it's fucking stupid and i'm one of those same people i don't like to fucking argue or like have any bad energy with anyone it's fucking it's weird i'm heavily like i i will live and breathe off of good energy <clears throat> and anytime something's in there that doesn't feel right it fucking throws my whole thing off i haven't posted a youtube video in a month because of the whole fucking yeah what's good with that but because of the tifu yeah, shit. yeah dude i'm not in the fucking mood like i'm not gonna i'm really not the guy who's gonna pick up a camera and be like but do you yeah. have to be like that? Because, because like, no, I don't have to like do shit. My, I really my, don't. Like, my, I really don't. That's the problem. That's my issue with you is that you don't have to do shit, and you don't seem to be putting that pressure on yourself to make YouTube videos, well, which I guess is good for your content. But at the same time, it's kind of annoying to know, like, oh, Faze Banks has enough money that he doesn't have to give a shit about this. <laughs> it's not even necessarily the money. It's like I've decided and committed 
to the fact that like YouTube for me will always be fun. I really am one of those fucking kids who started doing this 10 years ago and spent way more, ne more money than I ever could have dreamed to make into making YouTube videos because I liked it and I saw it as like this new thing and it was fucking cool and I liked learning about it and I like posting and all that. It's always for me, it's been a hobby, it's been fun. I love the fans, I love getting feedback. People love my fucking videos. I have a huge, like super <laughs> hardcore fan base that really loves and looks forward to my shit. And that's why you're annoying too is because you, you <laughs> disappear for a year and a half and then but you come the, back and the views are stupid. They're still there. Yeah. They're just waiting. The real ones. They're though, waiting. Yeah. They're supposed to fall off. Fusi comes back after six months. The shit is decimated. Yeah, He's getting yeah. 10%. Like, Who the fuck is this guy? I'm saying. The real <laughs> ones Banks comes back. It's all good. Yeah. The real ones know though that's how I operate. So it's like they're there and they're going to be there and if they're not then fucking so be it. Do you feel like it's do you feel a, like partly like I feel like I'm on a podcast like asking questions right now too. No, it's good. Do you feel ever like like, uh, like you feel forced to make content that you no. don't want to make anymore. Like, no. like imagine this. No. What if I you just... didn't have to make vlog content and you can make shit like sit down, like fun conversations? Would you do that more? Like the shit I made last night where I just sat down, had a conversation with people and just fucked around, talked about shit like this. Would you do that? Would you do mom's basement type shit? I could do that. But it's like the vlog stuff. Really? I love that shit because like. Dude, we live such a fucking crazy life. And part of, I want to touch on this too, part of the reason why I stay relevant is because of who I'm surrounded by. I've, mm. I've shoved myself right in the middle of a lot of really good people, really talented people, people that I enjoy. If, I'm going to talk about this with the Tifu thing too, but I spend so much time consuming content and watching people and fucking doing the YouTube thing. It's my whole life, right? If I come across somebody who I cannot stop watching, they're fucking, there's something there. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So the Nelk boys are a good example. Yep. I, I came across these kids fucking two years ago and they were getting a couple, you know what I mean? They were, they were doing all right. They were getting a couple hundred thousand views, whatever, but I fucking loved them. Mm -hmm. And I think like Adapt or something put me onto them and I was just like, they were in LA and I was like, yo, come through. And then we fell out of touch for a little while. They stopped making videos and I, then they came to LA. They're like, yeah, we're thinking about moving to LA, yada, yada, yada. I was like, dude, fucking moving the Best house. Best thing they ever did. Rice gum's another one. Dude, Rice <coughs> is one of the fucking smartest kids I've ever met. And people are probably laughing right now. He's one of the smartest kids I've ever met. He's totally different off videos. Yeah. And he knows that. There's yeah. a Rice gum and then there's a fucking Brian Lee. There, I, I realized that from watching his vlogs that it's like, oh, this dude that people talk about him like he's just this annoying ass meme. And this is years ago. <laughs> but I was like, oh, like he's actually like, I like his vlogs a lot when he was still yeah, just doing yeah. his vlogs because he was yeah. so sarcastic and funny and it was just like he was kind of taking the piss out of the kids that were the watching the trolls, show. Dude. He, like, is, he was, dude. It was one of my favorite impulsive podcasts so far. Really? Like he just comes on and just he just comes on and clowns everybody. He doesn't give a fuck about anything, dude. He Bro, just says he whatever he wants. He's the biggest troll of all. Like that. he goes, I remember that whole like gambling shit that happened with yes. him. And like <laughs> the way everybody he responded to that is just Bro, everybody else was like like Jake got rolled into it too, right? On the gambling mm -hmm. shit. And, and everybody else was like, yo, calling their PR teams, like all this shit. So we asked Rice about it. We're like, yo, what's good with the whole gambling thing? He's like, I don't know. I mean, I got that bag, so I don't really give up. <laughs> I'm like, yo, that, he just doesn't care about shit, bro. He kind of gets it because a lot of times, you know, when you're in that situation, like, like you have to go through a lot of those situations. But when Rice was getting destroyed for having done some questionably unethical ads on his YouTube channel, I mean, if you are new to the game, you would think that it was all over after that. But we have the experience of being able to see that you could have the most cataclysmic accusations the craziest shit and it all just kind of fades away there's a few people who are sort of like invincible they don't have mm. the, they don't have the same rules that apply to them right keemstar is one of those people because mm -hmm. he's boys feel like they they, they are be too no, they they, are. you want to know the other thing Dude, about what people the fuck like you say like they're they're these kids the Nelk boys are fucking just doing them, right? They're having fun and they're not they don't give up they make no money on YouTube because they get fucked by the whole CPM thing. Mm -hmm. They still pull in crazy views because they have a crazy fan base and they're just organic. The, wor the word is unapologetic. Yeah. Like you'll notice the people that get away with shit are the people that you'll never see apologize. And mm. I don't know if it's like what came first, chicken or the egg type shit. Like are they able to do shit because they don't apologize or do they not apologize because they know they'll get away with shit. But like certain people just never apologize. Like have you ever seen Rice apologize for fucking anything, no, bro? No, he doesn't give a fuck. He really doesn't. Nelk boys haven't apologized for shit either. And it's the, only like when you look at my camp, when you look at Logan, we look back at that, at that whole thing, and like, we think to ourselves like sometimes like, yo, what if there was no apology? 
Mm. What if there was no apology? And that was a that was a much bigger thing. I understand I understand all that, but it's like sometimes that apology gives people the ground to to really start pushing and mm. to get that cancel culture I to think, come after I you. I think know what, what it boils down to it's as simple as this: people really appreciate just realness, realness and off authenticity yeah and that's the the people who get canceled are the people who Our there's an fake. expose that yeah. makes you feel like oh i thought i knew you and now i don't, now I don't. like that's yeah. why james charles lost all the subscribers is because at first and i don't think it really lasted but at first all of his fans were like oh my god he's like perfect. you're not the person that we thought you oh, were yeah, yeah, yeah and he yeah. had that super yeah. clean cut right, not, right, not right, clean right. cut right. obviously he's doing whatever he's doing but you know he had a pretty clean image and then this tati girl convinced everybody that he actually was the opposite of it was and yo i'm gonna be honest with you i felt like a fucking coward because i'm sitting in my hotel room during Ronald Loud or whatever talking to my girlfriend about that situation saying james is fucking innocent here he didn't do shit and the stuff that he's being accused of is not really that big a deal really and it doesn't seem like there's any fucking evidence but i didn't have the heart to make a video saying that like defending and, him and i then, made a video yeah <clears throat> man, pewdiepie pewdiepie was the first person yes, i saw was, to was. come out and say basically just to laugh at the whole thing and when that happened i was like damn he's brave for doing that and then that's exactly how it played out and i was like i'm a pussy because i could have made that exact video yeah. saying the exact thing and i would have believed it 100 yeah, but no, i was I too scared to be the first one through the to wall say, to clarify yeah. you know? i made my shit after people started kind of realizing what was mm -hmm. going on but i have a fucking it's a little bit weird right like me and james charles are homies we are i have a whole fucking crazy thread with him like yo get the fuck off your ass that that response you made that like pr fucking approach that you made was horrible. What was, was it, the first one or yes, the second? The was, first one? His response to it initially was fucking awful. That was not good. I though. said, you need to get on camera. You need to not say sorry. This is one of those situations where, where you need to fucking be like, yo, time the fuck out. First of all, the whole thing with the, with the fucking straight dude, gay dude thing, if you're kissing a guy, you're maybe a little bit gay. That was the worst That's part what, about it is, like, that, is that it was made out like he was pressuring this dude to be gay, and then you find out that the guy totally, is gay. <laughs> it was totally just not. It's so. And then, the, dude, the, this whole thing with Tati and James was just about vitamins. She was butthurt. <laughs> Yo, like that's that actually was the thing insane. that fucked do me we, up. Do we know still? Like, does anybody know how much money that bitch made? Oh my god! But why is she making vitamins in the first place? Like, what do you know about vitamins? Why are we supposed to feel bad about you? Like, that's like tomorrow. I could. Like it was her life's work. Tomorrow, to fucking, you've been working on this formula for fucking her listen, entire Listen, tomorrow, life. you could like, start phase protein powder life. and fucking kill it. And you know it. The yeah, phase protein I'm, I'm powder gonna, would do pretty good. Why, though? Because it's not your brand. But then, Mike starts, out, and then I, Mike starts yeah, making yeah, yeah. his own protein powder, and you're going to be like, how dare you when I made protein yeah. powder? It's like none of you had any business making protein exactly. powder the same way it's that none of these bitches have vitamins. Yeah, dude, it's fucking. Do you know how many people went to Coachella off sugar sugar bear hair? And I'm like, yo, every fucking influencer girl was there off sugar bear hair like i get it like he's friends with the girl but the whole like having to talk about that whole incident on impulsive and talking about a lot of the youtube beef that happens yo it strains me mm. like i don't a, a lot of this shit like the tifu shit was different because that was like your homie yeah. it was a contracting like it was real like the real shit but to watch like tati go at him over some dumb shit it's, it's really fucking hard for me to even talk about that. And to spell it, uh, to play it out as if she was being this hero, as if she was doing something right. Brave. It's like, no, you made a YouTube video talking shit about somebody who was supposed to be your friend. You're a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. And it's everybody knows it now. Shit. And it's very convenient that you, just, you knew about all this shit for years. And the second he promoted another fight. Like, the thing about the YouTube beef shit is, I really feel like I have the absolute... Just right, fucking lens. I feel like, like I get it yeah. every time. I feel like I know what's going on. It's so clear to me what's going on. I feel like I always pick the right side, and I can't believe how split shit is sometimes. Like I just, I, it, that's what bothers. That's what strains me. Yeah, is when public opinion starts shifting to like the side that should not be winning. It bothers me, and that's when I feel like I need to hop the fuck in. That's why I was like, "Yo, James, fucking yada yada yada." It's just, I think, dude, the, she needs to fucking tell me about how much they made. That bitch made. Nah, I saw you. Dude, dude, I saw you I, tweeting about that. You were so mad. You were like, she should have to give all the money. Back. She should give it to Sudan. No, no, because ready, ready. That was her thing, right? It wasn't about vitamins. So, all right, bitch. If it wasn't about vitamins, then <laughs> dis fully disclose how much money you made in the week after that video came out, 
and donate it to fucking charity. Some cyberbullying shit. If you're so fucking self- Yo, but can I ask you a question? What? I heard... I, so I don't know James Charles. Like I don't know him. Dude, I've, I've seen him. I've seen him. Hold on a sec. I've seen him around, but I've also heard like some grimy shit about him. Like, is he like a? Is he like a great person? Like, is he like? Bro, to be real, I've had a few interactions with him. Not enough to fully so know, know if he's a good person or not. Yeah. But he's been nothing but nice to me. He was a yeah. dude. Yeah. My first video back, I did this whole like skit of like I like. Fucking ripped off a Mr. Beast video. We went, me and the Nelk boys went and drew like chalk circles around people in the street and said like, "Last one to leave wins whatever." I remember that shit. And then we did some skit with fucking, fucking Tifu. I played Fortnite <laughs> or whatever. And then I, I hit him up like day of. I'm like, "Yo, will you do my fucking makeup for a video? I want to do. I want to." Oh, I remember that. Skit. I remember He's that like, too. Yeah, 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 fucking come through. Whatever. He didn't have to do that. Yeah. You know I mean? No. I, everything I, I've seen of J- James is that you know maybe when I read some of those text messages, I'm like he might have got a little bit of a big head big at some head, point yeah, just because yeah. he blew up so fast. He's 19. He's like a 19 year old virgin getting accused of being a fucking predator. On the also, that was so. <laughs> also, that was so. Ridiculous. Dude, we all <laughs> joke about things that if there was a camera on us at that moment in time, everyone would fucking hate us. That's the reality. Mm. I've said things probably oh in the last God, probably in the last bro. 24 hours that if you guys heard, yeah. you'd fucking cancel. A hundred percent. And it's a joke, and it's between friends, and there's, and when these kids do, oh, I'm fucking famous, you know what I mean? Like whatever, like it's a fucking like. Yeah. yeah. Dude, context is so we important. Had, we had a we had a beef we had a beef fire that, up recently at Lo, at Logan's party with fucking with Dobrik and, oh, and yeah. Jeff. Yeah, you know the yeah, dude yeah. Jeff Wittick? Do you know who that is? It's <laughs> part of Dobrik's crew. Yeah, 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 yeah. They had a beef. He, no, oh, so, you had so beef with he that. rolled he they rolled up to the party and at some point in the party they went over to the impulsive podcast, like room. They went on the set. Nobody knew they were in there. And I guess Jeff had made like a joke that wasn't about the suicide forest and it got posted online and maybe David did make one about the suicide forest. We caught it on like our nest cameras, right? Right. And so Logan called him out on the podcast. And and so when Jeff saw that, he's hitting me up. He's like, yo, we need to get on the fucking phone. And so this dude, Jeff, is like kind of about it, bro. Like he's been He's been to prison, right? Do you know this kid who yeah, I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, dude, the dude who did the uh, thing with the uh, Cody Co. Right, the right, with the haircut. Yeah. Right. So he's like been to prison and shit. And so like normally when there's YouTube beef, it's YouTube beef. Right. This was the first time ever where I was like, yo, this is escalating. Mm. And so I, and so he he we come back from this trip. We were in Cleveland. We come back and on his podcast, he had made a statement that was like, yo, if something happens to Logan Paul and his crew, I just want people to know that it wasn't me. Wow. And when that kind of shit gets said, like I think, to, like it brings me back, and I think to myself, like, yo, that's a that's a threat. Right. And so we hit him up, and he was just like, all of this is kind of taken out of context. And Logan had made a statement that was like, yo, like, yo, if we're gonna if we're gonna go there, like, wh- like what's good? And he was like, that's not gonna be good for either of us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so like it was so funny to see like YouTube beef, which is such bitch ass shit, normally start to elevate. Right. And we sh- and it got shut down and we 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 mended it. I and think so about that all the time. Now. How there'll be rappers who are like just as famous as YouTubers, but the YouTubers walk around like it's all good because like the worst thing that could potentially happen to them is that they have yeah, to yeah. take too many photos or yeah, something. Yeah, but yeah. then the rappers sometimes are like, we'll get they got friends with guns, yeah, they got security, yeah, they got whatever. Yeah. Yeah, and so like I was, like I was just waiting to see like how that all panned out, but like it, it's. It's always weird when someone on the opposite side is like about it too. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like he's he's been there. Definitely. So. Let me just say something real quick. Uh, no jumper. This Friday we got a meet and greet in Chicago. We got a whole pop up shop. All the information is on the No Jumper Instagram. Uh, yeah. So we'll be out there during the uh, and you'll be out there too. I don't too. want to 100 say for sure that I'm going to be at the pop up, but I do want to go. Okay. If we have a commitment, I don't. We will all be in Chicago. I wish fucking Todd was here, but we are going to hang out in Chicago. It's going down. Me. And then also in London right after that. Anybody out here? who was even anywhere close to London, come on out to our shows that we're doing. It's also on the No Jumper Instagram and yeah, Twitter. Going. Yeah. Chicago's going to be awesome. Yeah, we got Chicago I'm and London on the chopping block. I'm, le- I'm leaving for two weeks. Just you or your squad? Yeah, Lena. me and a couple couple members of the squad and my girl, yeah. Because cool. Riley wanted Riley hit me up and was like, yo, do you want to... <laughs> she was like, do you want to go to Mexico for my birthday? It was like a big group. There and I was go. like, well, is Adam and Lena going? And, they were like, and she was like, I think they might. And I was like, no, they're not because they're going to fucking... Aha! Or some shit. Riley, you fucking crook. 
She was over my Finger. house the other day, and I was Dude. trying to like instigate like a, a foursome <laughs> type thing, and then I like started to realize that they were just like weren't in that mood, and I'm like, man, I never seen you not in the mood. I was just gonna say the same <laughs> thing, bro. That's a first. That's a first for me to hear that, bro. I love straight up, bro. Wait, like she's say, my you're like, favorite person. We, we went out one night. And Riley's a movie. We went out one night. Mike's like, yeah, I'm texting Riley. She might come out, and he's like, oh no, she just told me she had a long shoot today. Mm. She's like, yeah, I was shooting all day. She couldn't make it out. She was shooting. She's yeah. all banged up. You're, I like. You're a pervert you, you ever hook yeah, up with yeah. a girl and you know that she's literally had like a 12 inch giant dark colored penis inside of her that. vagina butthole everything all day and then you're that just cu- yeah and you're just cuddled up with her i mean it doesn't really bother me but it it's interesting to think about well yo i mean i assume that every time i fuck a do those star, exist in the real world like do real do that because yo 12 listen, inch dicks do not yeah. watch no, black yeah, at all no, I, they exist i get it but outside <laughs> outside of porn are they like a yes very, the majority of 12 inch black dicks probably don't do porn like they, it, it, there's only so many that's interesting yeah. that is a good there's idea. only so many but dude there's a lot of fucking people mm. lots okay but this is the thing is that there's dudes in the porn world who are famous for having the biggest schlongs ever. But then when you hear about them from girls, it's like they're not good at their job. They're like, they show up, they're lazy, they're smelly, they're addicted to drugs, etc. But they got like a 12 inch dig. So the whole cast is like, they're they're the talent, which normally is not like that at all. Normally the girls are the unicorns and the guys yeah, are just yeah. whatever. But yeah. some some sections like who, of porn. Like sins and shit like that? But Johnny's like a professional, yeah. whereas like some of these dudes that I hear about are just like total pieces well, of shit, but they got is, massive dicks. So you know what else I've noticed too with porn? A lot of these porn stars are little girls. Yes. They're all, they're so proportionately small. like, mm. I get it. When I first met Riley, I'm like, okay, I feel a little bit better now. Because you were like, this is why dicks I, I thought so big. fucking all these guys had fucking <laughs> arm size fucking schlongs. <laughs> right. That's but part yo, of it. Of, the tiny little waist why, makes bro, the dick look huge. Yeah, it's yeah, huge. Yeah, little yeah. butt, little waist, your fucking dick looks crazy. <laughs> my a lot dick, of the girl, my dick I'll, next to a, t- next to the right face or in the right ass look looks like fucking, I got a porn star dick too. Mm. <laughs> the reason uh, why I brought this up is because girls have pulled out my dick and been like, wow, your dick is huge. Mm. And huge is a fucking That's word. That's a word. That's a, a word. worded word. Like, you got a big dick. Okay. Your dick's huge. No. My I lived in is, LA too long. I'm like, no. My dick's I, not I got all huge. these guys I can show you. They're way better than mine. My dick is not fucking huge, bitch. Have you seen r- Blacked? Have I just said that, of course, yeah. bro. It's one of my. That's a huge They're dick. pulling some of the top talent right now. And so, even like, <laughs> without sounding. Yo, without sounding like. Huge a, fan. Without sounding like someone who's just all He's about, about dick. interracial. He's the guy who's got the subscription who pays No, nah, but, but like, that's yo, so they woke. get a lot of the best shit right now. Like, I, like, yo, lately I've been on like a Tiana Trump tip heavy. I've been trying to get rice. Tatiana, if you're watching this, like, what what's fucking good? Man? Like, let's get this going. You're trying like, to get I, rice. Well, to t- because rice and he Abby did a video with hang out with her, so Abby's like good friends Whoa. with Tiana. They don't hang out. Right? Abby is they friends with Tiana. No, they do videos once well, a while. Well, whatever. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what they do. Tiana's so fun. Yo, She's so fun she, to hang out with. She, I watch her shit. She looks like she potentially gives the best head <laughs> in the entire world. Like, bro, like this girl is a fucking. Machine, bro. Mm. Her Twitter videos, where she just be, blah, blah, blah. the one that's like, like oh, this got pulled shit. off Instagram. Yeah, the, her to pin shit. Right. Tiana, fuck, dude. Come on, our really body's a fucking yeah. pervert. Huh? It's like we're all talking about like different TV shows on Netflix that we're into, but we're talking about porn stars. But fuck it, that's that's really how it is. If there's any two people in the world that I'll be having this conversation with, <laughs> was, was there a moment in your life where you felt like you couldn't have? Filthy fucking conversations like this on camera because it was imperative to your brand safety. I do so. No, actually, no. Really? Okay, you've always uh, had that much control. Actually, no. You no. It's not even control. I've I went into this promising myself I'm gonna be me always. Whatever the fuck that means. If you like me, you like me. If you don't, that's fine. You can't truly be happy unless you're happy with yourself. Mm. So that's the only thing I'm working on is being happy with myself. I'll project it out. I'll share it all with the fucking world, whatever. And if they fuck with it, they fuck with it. If they don't, they don't. Matter of fact, all the OGs, there's a few of you guys watching for sure right now who have been following us since New York, who have been following me and Tommy since we got an apartment in fucking Boston. And I was never the guy who made videos. 
there was always the comments, Banks, fucking please make videos, Banks. We love Banks. What the fuck? I had like a million subscribers on YouTube before I ever posted a fucking YouTube video. I didn't want to do any of that. I liked the back end stuff. I liked, I liked, business. I liked, not biz. I, I used to think that was the word. I fucking hate business. I hate everything about it. I could never be a CEO. Mm -hmm. I could never fuck. I like, um, it's funny because you kind of are a CEO though. Um, I'm like a, like a, Fucking spiritual CEO. But you, <laughs> you take the CEO type stuff and you try to stay away from that stuff and put yeah, other people do, on like, that. The, dude, this nobody, everyone fucking thinks they want to be a CEO. Nobody wants to be oh, a CEO. It's, it's the worst yeah, job yeah. of all time. Yeah. Well, all that job, all that is, is you're the you're the guy who every fucking thing that happens that's wrong, you're the reason Scapegoat. it happened. Yeah, yeah. It, it's you, and you need to fucking move shit around and, and, and make shit happen and make it better. That's you. Everything comes back that, to you. I do that when it comes to the brand shit. Mm. Like when something like the Tifu things hap thing happens, it's my responsibility to fucking, to, to figure out how we're going to fucking, how we're going to sort through that. It wasn't whatever. supposed to be though. Cause you were getting a lot of, you were getting a lot of shit for all those tweets. Yeah, no shit. You got passionate. You got passionate as fuck. But about I had it. to. I had to, dude. I, I fucking had to. That's me. And you that probably literally had the lawyers telling you to not say oh, those they were things. Flipping. What? I had to. I had to shut my phone off, and I was doing it off on my laptop. <laughs> oh, fuck, they took your. Oh my god, they, <laughs> dude! It's the worst thing. Legal. All this legal, dude. The way they've approached it from their side is so like tactical, and all this legal like ammo, and all this fucking these legal tactics. It's it's for me. It's disgusting. I hate it. It hurt me it. to see that because yeah. I wouldn't even know who Tifu was if it wasn't for you coming up to me at a party and being like, "This is Tifu. He's the man. He's blowing up on YouTube. You got to interview him." Blah blah blah. That's the fuck. Listen, I've seen enough comments, and it hasn't been an overwhelming amount. Like, t to be real, I got me personally, I got a lot of fucking love and a lot of good feedback for it. But on the flip side, FaZe has gotten a lot of shit for it. I am FaZe Clan. I have this shit tattooed on my fucking body. I have a bunch of tattoos. It was my fucking first tattoo. This is my life. I put so much time and effort and energy into this. I will be like, this will live on past me. This is my legacy. Like, this is who the fuck I am. I care about it so much that that's me, dude. Hmm. You know what I mean? And that's like, that's kind of like what hurts the most. And it's like, like what you just said. And there's a million stories like that. Keem, Keem has gotten some shit for being biased about the situation. He's not being biased. He's giving his honest feedback and opinion on what the fuck he's seen and how this shit's gone down. Because the same story, and there's a million people like that. I fucking, when Keen, the first time he ever heard about this kid, I said, yo, this is Tifu. Shake his hand. He's a fucking great kid, and he's going to be a fucking superstar. <clears throat> mm. You don't know who he is now, but everyone will very soon. And I knew it, dude. I knew it. I met this kid, Sam Pepper, actually. That's, so that's a fun little fact. That's an exclusive. Nobody knows that. Sam Pepper is good friends with Juke Squad, his brother. Okay. So Sam's like, yo, yo, it was like in my first week of playing Fortnite. So I hear about Fortnite. It's a popping game. I got to start playing it. I got to figure out what's going on because I'm fucking FaZe Banks. So I start playing it. Sam's like, you got to meet this kid, Tifu, dude. He's, the, he's legit. He's the real deal. Like he was fucking breaking all these records on um, what was the game? fucking destiny and he's a multi-platform pro and he was one of the best um pubg players and when i hear that from what i do it's like okay like i'm interested because kids are good at, at a game and a game could pop off be super relevant but it's always going to fall off uh -huh. like fortnite will not always be the game right there'll be a game that we don't even know what it is right now that's going to be bigger than Fortnite. And the bigger the biggest game is always bigger than the last biggest game. It's mm -hmm. like a fucking exponential. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. why the esports shit, the gaming shit is so, so dope. fucked. Like guys, like uh, it's fucked. Uh, why? Uh, five to ten years like this shit, you guys are like, holy fuck. Oh, it's shit. crazy. It's gonna people be, people that aren't jumping on that wagon, like it's it's something I've talked to it's the team about, at Maverick insane. about a lot too. And also Love Sack. Like I pushed Love Sack to do fucking the Call of Duty partnership last year because we knew gaming can was going to be a good play the, for you. Yeah, of course. Oh, uh, we, oh. can we or no? Uh, is there a, is the deal I feel done? like both. It's not. There's. It's not inked yet. 
It's gonna happen. Yeah. It's gonna happen. I think we're doing a phase love sack thing. Yeah. That's cool. We yeah. Never talked it's about gonna that be dope yet. as fuck. It is yeah. gonna be dope. The it's gonna be super limited. And like we're gonna limited. and we're gonna do some cool we're gonna do a bunch of cool pop shit. Pop up, pop up. What's love I, sack? Like Those giant beanbag yeah, things? Yeah. 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 They're okay. You've never owned a love sack? No, but I've seen it at Logan Paul's studio. Out. Yeah. yeah. He's in my phone as Mike Love Sack. Yeah. This is okay. Mike from fucking Love Sack. Yeah, oh, we're buying a house right now, so we need one. You need a sack. You need to get him a sack. It'll change your whole thing. Oh, I need a sack, yeah. I've been working with a sack. Me and Tommy bought one. You know what I mean? Like when we had our apartment, like I bought one. Of them. I know. You that. know what I mean? So just like I know, I purchased. It, I know. You know it's so funny it's whenever, like, product. whenever like friends or influencers are like, they purchase them, and then sometimes like I'll go on the Love Sack <laughs> IG and I'll see like friends of mine sliding in, like, "Yo, do you have a PR contact?" Right. And I'm running the account, and I'm like, "Yo, it's it's fucking Mike, dude. Like, what's going? What do you want?" <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, so, so like, some more mean. stuff came out about the Tifu thing like recently, in the sense that like more details about the contract. Okay, I was so seeing this is news. another thing. I haven't talked about this yet. I'm going to do my first video back. I haven't uploaded a video in a month. I've been super not vibing with the fucking YouTube shit. I can't, like I said, I can't fucking fake it. Right. I'm not, I don't have the right energy to do it. Mm. But um, I respect for being able to admit that because I've definitely been there. It's, yeah, a, it's dude, a weird I'm, thing to come to grips with. I'm not going to fucking do it. If I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. It's that what, what, what about it makes you not want to do it? I don't, the, dude, like I the really, fake. I'm a super, vibes. super emotional person. Like it's like, it's intense. Like if I'm fucking happy, like you've seen me at my yeah. fucking happiest yeah, and my yeah. highest and that energy is real. Like I fucking bring a vibe and I'm happy and it fucking nothing makes me more happy than just being happy with happy people, with good people. It's my favorite thing in the world. But when I'm fucking low, man, like it's fucking low and I've had a rough month with this shit. Like it's, it's been fucking rough. And what was your question? I wanted to touch. Oh, the legal shit. Like his lawyer came out. Right. Listen, there was some guys, new stuff. Everyone's talking about bias this, bias that, what's real, what's not. Guys, we're talking about a guy who's very good at his job. Mm -hmm. He's a good lawyer. It is his fucking job to twist and manipulate. And, and his job is to be fucking biased. So for him to come out and do an interview and this all be brand new fucking crazy information, come on, dude. That's the problem I have with this. It's a whole legal, it's legal now, right? We're talking about 99% of the people following this shit who care about this shit no offense, you know absolutely nothing. fucking nothing yeah, yeah. about how contracts work, about legal shit, and p so many people are pretending like they do, and somebody says one thing, and it's like, there's there's this new information, and oh my god, this guy, w what's what's a good example? Um, oh, he 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 um, he challenged the fact that we only made sixty thousand. Listen, let me explain. Tifu made more money last year than my company did, the entire Tia Phase Clan. Wow. Turner made like fucking in the ballpark of like fucking $15 million last year. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are just now profitable. So we're the only, by the way, the only <clears throat> esports organization in the world that's profitable. Wow. Is that bitch? Congrats. But all these other <laughs> motherfuckers are burning money, millions of dollars a month. It's like a fucking play, you know? It's like right. a long play. It's real shit. Turner, and that's who you're up against now, is that you're sort of in contention with all these brands that are really well-funded, right? But not at all. But we're well-funded, too. We're raising money. Right. We're doing our fucking thing. We're raising it. $300 million right now. We're fucking good. Dude, God. So, dude, we're not in contention with <laughs> anyone. Dear, God. $300 million. I don't know that language. <laughs> what phase <laughs> clan, language listen, what phase, <laughs> what phase Clan is, what I want it to be and I want it to represent is when I first started doing this shit, everyone shit on me for it. I dropped out of college for this. I fucking used to play Xbox every fucking day and I saw something there and I loved it and I saw also that kids were really ashamed of being a fucking gamer. Mm. You know, there was a real stereotype attached to it. You know, the little fat nerdy kid who fucking has never had sex and never whatever. And that's kind of what me and Tommy capitalized on, Face yeah. Temper. Yeah. Me and Tommy, we started this shit on some organic shit. Like we, we met each other on Xbox and we fucking started all this shit. I, I was doing my own thing. They were doing their own thing. They're like, yo, you're doing cool shit. Come over to... And then we, we all lived together. It was organic. It was real. I want the FaZe logo to represent what, like, the Nike logo represents for sports. Mm. I want it to... Uh, this is a culture thing. The esports part of this shit is this big. Fuck esports, quite frankly. Fuck that. It's all a bunch of fucking mumbo jumbo bullshit, smoke and mirrors. Like, yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited, excited about that all day. I'm excited no. to see where the leagues go. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm watching. I'll all tell day. you right Yo, now. I'll like tell the, you all the, right the, now. The, nowhere. It's the, the pricing. Worst. The pricing. Like, I see all the sponsorship costs when it comes to, like leagues, and then when it comes to like um, teams. 
the team shit makes sense. But yo, if you want to sponsor like or a brand, if you want to sponsor sense. Call of Duty's uh, like uh call of duty's like league gaming league these sponsorships are like half a million a million fucking dollars and it's just Jeez. to have like on site like presence Buddy, that isn't even the fucking worst of it now what they're doing is they're organizing and structuring leagues within just one singular game and there's they're making people pay fucking 30 million dollars for a spot in the league yeah what? oh yeah i saw that so to for make like, a return yeah. on that what they're trying to do is they're trying to fucking they're trying to imitate what the NFL is like doing. NFL but, NBA. But like why, you have teams. But why it will never work is because gaming is such a it's an umbrella thing, right? And if you're a gamer, you could be a gamer and only play League of Legends. You could mm. be a gamer and only play Fortnite. I'm a you gamer and only play Tetris 99. Exactly. I've been watching you play that shit. That, I was going to say it's, the it's same actually thing. everyone's a gamer. That's the first thing, and <laughs> <laughs> and it's like. Games, like I said, they fucking pop off and then they fall off. That's just what it is. So to spend $30 million on a fucking league spot and to look at getting a return on that in 10 years, you're fucking... None of these games are going to be around in 10 years. Flushing. The only Dude, thing that has been is like Call of Duty, be but like... We could be all living in a fucking simulation in 10... Mm. Dude, 10 years from 2019 is going to be fu like exponential technological growth. That's a real well, thing. Well, that's what I thought too, but the, McDo <laughs> the ice cream machine at McDonald's is still always <clears throat> fucking broken. Like, you'd think they would have fixed that shit. It's been broken since 2008. Right. That shit's still not fucking fixed. I'm getting all fired up talking about No, no, I appreciate it, but, like, where the fuck the flying cars at, dog? We're, like, six months out from 2020. But I they just realized that it wasn't going to gonna work. It's that not the, practical. The, 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 it's not worth it, yeah. It you could. Cool. You could have a flying car. Yeah, they could. Yeah. Yeah. just be they stupid as hell. And there's <laughs> think about the air regulations. Yeah, 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 and, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they a, could do it. That's the kind of shit we talk about on our podcast. No, self-driving cars and electric cars. We're going down the right path. You see that porn on shit? With wow. the with the dude fucking in the Tesla, well, it was on auto oh, drive. Oh, that's such a good idea. That shit blew up. The porn. It was yeah. He I was he that. was in his uh his model, fucking. Alyssa Jesus, was like, we whatever. should do that. Model S. That's one rule of the internet and things going viral is that anything new plus porn equals viral. Like I remember I was hanging out with this girl when so Google true. Glasses came out. She yeah. did the Google Glasses porn, went viral as hell. Yep. You know? The yep. craziest shit we're seeing right now, we've been we were just talking about this the other day at the FaZe house is fucking Vitaly, dude. What about him? Nelk Boys were just bro, saying that Vitaly is one of their bro, favorite bro, YouTubers. He's, bro, he's back? Clean, bro, cleaning the fuck up. And so here's the question. Everybody's trying to figure out how do I deplatform. Censorship has become a major issue. I can't right. Show the shit I want to show on YouTube. Logan obviously can't show the shit he wants to show on YouTube. Mm. He's been shut down from every fucking angle, right? Vitaly went, made his own fucking platform, made it all about sex. Vitaly, I don't even want to give a free plug. I don't think he needs it. It doesn't matter. Okay, Vitaly Uncensored. Not on YouTube. Not on YouTube. He, he set up his own streaming platform, Vitaly Uncensored. Got some subs, but then had his chick run streak a world cup game in you fucking europe oh yeah i did he see that supposedly yeah. picked up like a million subscribers on it at five five or ten no, i think it's i think it's like ten bucks ten bucks yeah. a month as of right now i just had someone come up to me the other day and say that vitaly fucking vitaly hollywood sign climbing fucking vitaly made 15 million dollars last month Is i'm his, not his saying dicks out he's banging no, the only he time he's that. ever banged was the time he tried to do bang, bang bus and he got he couldn't get hard. Yeah. yeah. You've never seen that? I didn't know that he, he talked about that on our out. show. Yeah, Did he, he struck out. Yeah, yeah. He's open about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you it's know, whatever. There. I mean, fuck. Wow, but, can't but, relate. My dick's been hard for like ten years. Since you were like fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dealing with it. But yo, this dude this dude fucking uh this dude started Nobody his own channel. Nobody no. appreciates. I got all no kinds. Of, I got all kinds of fucking uh, anti soft dick protection now. Dude, I don't you got, take those you, risks. You got Cialis. You got Viagra I got all on deck. On deck. I've never tried the deal, them, but bro, I'm super me? curious. You see me? You see me? This is me, bro. Like I'm, I'm always like, I'm always hanging out or partying or doing whatever. And like, yo, there are times where like, I'm just not about it, but I still want to fuck. Like I, I talked about on the show one time, like where I'm getting dragged to a bedroom. And I'm unconscious, bro. And I still want to <laughs> fuck, bro. And so you know how hard it is to fuck when you are not awake? I took a bro. Viagra one time. How was one it? Time. So just for context, I was back home. This was way before Alyssa. This is years and years ago. Um, we met these two like young, fucking really cute girls at like some fucking thing downtown. Downtown Lowell. Shout out Lowell. <laughs> shout out Lowell. I Mass. still can't wrap shout my head around East the fact Coast. that you have been there. I went to college in Lowell. Natural, I grew up right? 10 minutes away from Lowell. That's yeah, yeah. Fuck. Shout Wait, you went to U UMass Lowell? Yeah. Same. Shout out Fox Hall. Wait, where, where are Fox you from Hall? originally? For yeah, real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's where I met Tommy Tepper for the first time ever. Really? Face face. Yes. Can Fox I just Hall. say one thing? At Fox Hall. When I was at Fox Hall, That's there was Fox. this girl I used to hook up with, and you know, I go away for I don't, I don't see her because I'm only coming back for over, over Christmas is when we used to hang out. And one year, in between us hanging out, she gets hit by a car <laughs> and has her frontal lobe removed and she became like a sociopath so when i would go see her after that she became so much like meaner but like <laughs> didn't even know that she was being mean she was like cheating on her boyfriend with me she's doing all these horrible That's things gnarly. she became a completely different person because she lost her frontal lobe well That's i mean yeah gnarly. it always sucks when you lose your fucking frontal lobe <laughs> but what <laughs> was that part of your brain to lose uh, oh, just that you were in lol yeah i was in lol me and my Poppy homie pills. With, me and my homie <laughs> with two girls cambodian gang yeah, dude <laughs> Yo, he knows. I know. Wait, where are these guys? Guys, the faux here is fucking garbage. Oh, you come over to fucking oh, Lowell, Massachusetts. I never had nice it. Bowl of oh, Shout I didn't know about faux, faux back then. Oh my fucking god, it, it makes me so. Fucking where were you, are you from, Mass? I'm from uh, Nashua, New Hampshire, which is like we talked about this. So I, I could I, drive, and it would take me like broke, five minutes to get to the border. So it's like broke, the Gate City is what they called it. Yeah. 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 When me and all my homies were broke, because you don't get taxed on this fucking shit, we would go up before a party or something. Get all our booze from New Hampshire. Man, we got the whole East Coast gang in here right now. No, it's weird, right? you, East, people from the, listen, no offense, people from the East Coast are just better humans. Hold it. Mm. It's just a better sense of humor. It's just a whole yes. different tougher. ball game. Tougher, grind harder. I remember when I first started coming just out honest, to LA. Honest, very I, honest. Mm. I remember it's when I first cool. started coming out to LA. I would go to these meetings and, and motherfuckers would be like, yo, I'm going for my lunch now. And I'd be like, all right, I'll see you in like four minutes. <laughs> because, yo, when I eat lunch in New York City, I eat it off my computer. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm grinding still. The these dudes ethic. go and they fucking surf and shit. Walk their dogs. <laughs> and do whatever. <laughs> like, LA is the slowest shit. I say all the time. Like, it no LA, slow. no LA person can go to New York City, go to, go to like, Brooklyn or some shit and take over there. You can't. Why Maybe. Would, why would you be in Manhattan of, unless you wanted to work? Or unless you wanted to grind? There's no reason to be around all that no, hubbub, not. all of that loud not. noises, everything. Unless and you're just, trying to get it and in. And it just smells like piss. It does. A lot of piss. But so you does downtown LA. Oh, yeah. So downtown does downtown is, LA. I lived there for like there's three years. Over, That's hell on earth. There's an o you lived in New York? No, down. Well, yeah, oh. but also downtown LA. Oh my god, it the piss, the like vomit, piss, the shit. Yeah. It's insane. Okay, yeah, but yeah. I never feel out of place. Like even when I'm around the piss in New York City, like when you grow up around. You that also kind have of a shit, piss fetish, though. No, I don't. No, I don't. Actually, it's <laughs> really? the opposite. I've had. A couple of the girls we spoke about earlier today tell me to piss in their mouths. I was watching and a I don't, dude. I don't do, uh, I was I watching. Do the, you do that? No, I don't do any kind of pee on stuff. Time, I don't do any of that shit. I, I pee on my girlfriend's leg in the shower. That's about it. Yeah, that's yeah. just for me to be. No, but I was watching a fool do. Uh, uh, I was watching a dude do pull-ups. China Mac was doing pull-ups like on a street sign or whatever in New York City, and I was just thinking about the fact that when you're in New York City, your hands never feel clean. Never. Oh you my know, God. it just there's a there's a, a murkiness in the there's air. There's a real thing to that because anytime I've ever went, I lived in Long Island for two years, mm. and anytime we ever went to the city, I'd come back and I would get sick. I would always yeah, get for sick. sure. Just how we get. And you sick. never feel, and you never really feel safe either. Like mm. it's just a, it's just a grimy ass, it's a grimy ass city. And by the it way, is. you're on edge. 50, there's no 60, fucking trees. 50, <laughs> 60 miles around the shit. A lot of the cities, like I grew up outside New Haven, Connecticut, and mm. I fucked around in Bridgeport a lot when I was when I was doing my thing. And, like, it's just a whole different vibe there. Like, people are all fucking about it. Like, if you talk shit oh, we out there, about we talked about it's this. a guarantee that shit's going down. It's a guarantee. There's no question. And out here, like, there's, like, uh, like all this, like, foo-foo bullshit. And, yo, fucking people over out here is, like, it's, like, welcomed. Like, it's, like, it's, yeah, like, yeah, celebrated. Yeah, yeah. You know mm, what I mean? Like, like this is normal. You fuck someone over and you, get, you make some, you finesse some shit. It's, like, oh, fucking dope, whatever. Or it's just not a big deal. Dude, where the fuck I'm from, if you fuck somebody over on fucking 20 bucks, yeah. <laughs> the person you're fucking over could be a million. It's it's just, it's done. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. me and you, we will never fucking, we will, it, it's just, it, it is very different out here. It really, of, it really I don't want to shit on it either because I fucking live here. I'm not going to be that guy who's like, where I'm from is the best. There's a lot of things out here that are a lot cool. cool oh, I don't want to go back. Everyone out here is doing shit. Like, they, they got something going creative, on. Creative. Creative. All my mm. friends, yeah. everyone where I'm from has a fucking bullshit job. And they're just oh, doing yeah. regular life. Yeah, yeah. Everyone out here is talking about some kind of idea or some new thing. Yep. And 
half the time. That's the bullshit. thing. Everybody out here is working on something for better or for worse because a lot of times, you know, you meet people and it's just so insanely transparent that they just want something from you and that's the only re- and that's just normal shit in LA. Whereas in New York, it's like I feel like even if you are some degree of celebrity or whatever, that you're still more likely to get like a real conversation out of people. New York is a place where it's a lot uh, more fun to be famous than LA oh, yeah. because people in New York are way more reserved about asking you for photos or all that kind of shit. Yeah, 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 from my sure. experience. I, I've noticed. I also feel like another big difference I noticed is that like people are friendlier. I feel like friendlier out, out here. Out here for sure. I was just I was just about right. to say it's, 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 it's acceptable in New York to be like to have that like down tempo humor. Mm. In LA, like, like dark sh- talking shit, dark, making talking fun of people, shit, yeah, like yeah. fucking with people. Like like if I see like I'm so used to still I have a lot of trouble here in LA. When I see a fat person oh and they God. say some shit to me, I have trouble not saying like, "Are right, you fat fuck?" Because that's what I say in New York. In New York, you call people fat fucks. Yeah, and it wouldn't be that and weird. Yeah. You hear, you're like, "How dare you, yeah. fucking go body against shaming. my body I'm shaming?" I'm calling me, Buzzfeed bro. right now, right, fucking that. bro. In New York, dude, like you say all that shit. There's no protection. There's nothing. It's starting to happen, mm-hmm. but like LA is just. We talk about censorship. We talk about censorship on like podcasts, on YouTube, and all that shit. LA leads that charge. Mm. Listen, LA man. leads that charge. You can't say shit in I'm, this city. This is a bubble of liberal protection. And for my whole life, I've been a Democrat. He's going off. For right. a whole my whole life, I've been a Democrat and a liberal. Well, like we're in the same box then. Yeah. yeah. And then I came here. Libertarian. Maybe it's like good, Harry Johnson or some shit. Well, I came here, bro, <laughs> and I saw what a fucking real liberal was. Mm. Because they were like, you can't say that. And I'm like, I didn't even fucking say anything. But isn't it weird how it's slowly getting to the point where guys like us do not want to call ourselves liberal because of how disgusting the climate is when it comes to deplatforming people, silencing free speech, etc. It's like, I just don't want anything to do with that. And I'm a man without a fucking party now because I don't want to saddle up with Trump either. Like, there's a lot of, but there's a lot of people who their Trump support is directly just a rejection of of Of, all of this bullshit. Do you remember, do you remember uh, when like, being a liberal just meant you wanted like weed legalized you wanted like freedom free like yeah, just freedoms freedom. like yo like yeah I want, yes, cool. I want, of course and of course i want like gay people to get married and 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 i want all of that dude mm. of course Listen, i want that's why that. yo libertarian but, but 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 at the same time there's got to be a fucking line drawn somewhere as to where this shit ends bro because right now dude you can't do anything we aren't safe every fucking video i make or the podcast that we make has to go through a 40 fucking person review team. And they're like, really? oh, this little thing here could affect this group negatively. So we got to fucking change that. Dude, that's why like, I don't do brand deals because they all fucking, it fucks everything up. Really? It's just crazy. And especially for me, and I'm sure especially for you, because my whole brand since day one, as micro as it is still, has been about, <laughs> yo, like, this is who I fucking I am, bro. And I'd rather not make content than then make content that is not authentic to who I am. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to be authentic and relatable. Those are the two things I strive that's for, and like that's it. That's, that's it. Because then you know that wherever you land, whether you got a million followers or 100,000 or whatever, that you deserve that, and that's exactly where you're supposed to be. If you're presenting a fake-ass version of yourself, then you're always going to be thinking... What what version of myself Dude, as a YouTuber this, should I be putting yeah, out there I've next month? I don't really times. have to think about that. I have to think about my content That's and what, what I'm doing. Say. But I'm not thinking about like, oh, I, I got to do this differently. It's like there's certain parts that are just you can't change about yeah. yourself. And YouTube is hell bent on making you want to change everything about yourself so that you can whatever monetize YouTube's better. Fucking trash. Man. I saw I saw a leak today. It's hard times. I saw a leak trash. today I can't that wait. Shapiro put out. It was an email between Google execs. Mm-hmm. That called Shapiro and a couple other people Nazis. And these is at, this is from within YouTube. You, with it, yeah. All the email addresses were at Google.com, mm-hmm. and it was basically like our next step is making sure these people never hit the suggested fucking videos. Right. And so like even the shit that's not bubbling up to the top that a lot of us don't see is happening by way of not suggesting videos, by not promoting videos, and burying shit. And like you said, I'm not a Trump fucking dick rider. I'm not a conservative. 
I'm somewhere in the middle hanging out trying to make sense of all this shit. Right. It's I, crazy. I actually but run but now to be a Democrat is to be anti-free speech because to be a conservative is pro-free speech. Yeah. So we're in this know, truly sick situation. Do you guys know do you guys know what like the libertarian party is? Yeah. yeah. I don't like to identify with anything, but I feel like if I were to give myself a label, it'd be that. That's personal what I said, responsibility. I said, yeah. Yeah. But that's basically that's what it boils down to. Listen, time. there should be one fucking rule, okay? And I know I'm oversimplifying it, but everybody on the planet should just be free to do whatever it is that they fucking want to do. That's it. No, you, no, no, you no, 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 no. This is the thing that I forgot. So long as you do not impede there on anyone go. else's free, and freedom or you fuck with anybody else's happiness. If you're not hurting somebody, then you should be able to be free to do whatever the fuck you want. But if, then you're you run into of, a... if you're a mom of five, you shouldn't be able to do crack. But if you're not... <laughs> But Why you run into a problem like, you know, we gave Google and Facebook the benefit of the doubt that no. they were creating these public common platforms. And now we're, it's quickly becoming clear to us that in reality, they're completely politicized, that there's absolutely like it's been Google themselves so are scared shitless of regulation and they're scared of what's going to happen to their companies. They're going to get broke up. They're going to get regulated. So Google himself, like the reason why they wouldn't kick Crowder off the platform is because YouTube wants to present itself as politically neutral. Yeah. But then when you actually see the leaked emails like that, you realize, no, actually, Google, all the fucking employees there are a bunch of activists, and they're all oh, working their own platforms. And office. that's why they need to have these committees that come in and regulatory bodies. I saw a New York Times article two weeks ago that said that you, I couldn't fucking believe my eyes that YouTube gives a platform to far right activists. And that I article literally it. was about a kid who didn't even become a conservative. It, it, it made him think about different stuff, and then right. he ended up going back Wait, to liberalism. And, 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 but hold on, but hold on. I, imagine writing that article when YouTube. Am, am I wrong? They are so clearly skewed in the opposite direction than oh, that yeah. article went. Exactly. I mean, if you That's just why look it's hilarious. At a YouTube Rewind. It is. It's a social justice, justice warrior clusterfuck. Cluster yeah. cluster I bro. am so proud of How this community. This? How about this? How about this? How about it's this? Shout out Gabby. Right now, How about dude. this? What if YouTube just said, what? So the fuck what? We're a platform and people are going to upload shit and there's an algorithm. If it's popular, it's popular. No, Sorry. never going to happen. No, never no gonna shit. Happen, no. Never going to happen because no of shit. money. No the shit. big next move. Like Vitaly, Vitaly won't be the guy because it's a but website. Dude, what the fuck? Is deplatforming. But yo, well, someone will deplat. Everyone is going to deplatform. If at some point you don't start to give the creators, the people that drive all this shit, what they fucking want, they're going to deplatform. I have in my phone right now, if I turn my phone over, there'll be three dudes that are all worth a billion dollars plus that are working on streaming deplatform sites right now that want me off. Uh, YouTube that want you off YouTube that want Logan off YouTube it is happening right fucking now that's great dude. news and it's subscription based mm. and it's subscription based so instead of having to worry about getting 5% of the ad revenue that comes in off your videos you get 80% of the subscription mm. the other 20 goes to the platform it's happening right now. People are people are fucking fed up. They don't want to cower to YouTube. Just has the audience. And these yes, but, yes. But then it's going to be hard. I'm the, not saying it's going to be these easy. new networks are going to be able to skirt the regulation shit because the only ones getting regulated are going to be the ones with like 300 million plus users or right. whatever the fucking number right. is, and that's going to make it so that Facebook and Google are under the microscope. I mean, the whole problem is that you remember like when we started making content online and stuff. There was other options in terms of places to put your content. Yeah, yeah. You could put it on Vimeo. You yeah, could put right, it on MySpace right, right, right. and the the idea of monetizing on any platform besides YouTube is completely non-existent, and that's a big part of the problem. Well, because they just, start, I mean, at the end of the day, if they see anybody starting to show any signs of life, they're just going to suck them up. Mm. I mean, if 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 me and if me and Banks deplatform and we put to, put out a, a new platform and it, and it hits, you know, however many users, they're going to make a billion dollar offer to us, and I'm not turning it down. Are you? No. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, my as much as we're like, yo, this is going to help <laughs> all the people in the world make content they want to do. I'm, me and you are riding around on a Wait, fucking can I, yacht. Can I, can I say one thing about Google? The worst company of all time couldn't have I'm not saying shit, YouTube. dude. I need to be friends you, with these people. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Google is the fucking worst. It's the worst. Why couldn't Amazon have bought YouTube? Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, because oh, when you look no. at Twitch, it's like Twitch you feel like they've done a pretty good job they've with it. Oh, yeah. Dude, they have set rules, okay? You follow the fucking rules. I have no problem with that. Mm. You got rules, follow the rules. But so long as you're in the fucking guidelines of the rules, you should not be favored in any way. You should let the uh, you should let the people decide what they want to watch. I feel like Bezos is going to flip the switch, and then all of a sudden oh, you're going to be able to upload full videos to Twitch, and everything's going to change. This is all you got to do. 
<coughs> they probably wouldn't even have to. There'd be p- people jumping over there fucking like it's nothing. One fucking Facebook or one fucking mm. Amazon or something like that just needs to take the top 100 YouTubers and offer them an exclusivity deal, throw them a few million dollars, make whatever, calculate the fucking, say, hey, you know what? You're going to make what? You're going to make, pro- you're projected to make $5 million over the next 10 years on YouTube. We're going to offer you 15. Or 25. Or Bro, tw- what you're saying right now is, is ha- it's happening. Yeah, no, like, what, I, I, I assure you, calls that I've had in the past two weeks, I want to tell you what this are like, are like, this is happening. What, what you just this. said. Yeah, go ahead. Listen, 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 listen. The thing about the um, the ads, right? The ad apocalypse and the PewDiePie's and shit. Do people on the other side of things? Do they not buy shit? Right? Like, are we not fucking consumers too? I don't know about you guys. I buy a lot, lot of shit. Right. And Hell I, yeah, bro. And I, I'm not, I'm not a conservative by any means, but I definitely am not about the fucking, the fucking um, censorship shit. I'm not about any of that. I, I think it would be obvious. I can't even fucking believe that there are people who like have mm. a different view than that. But do we not buy shit? Mm. And am I not influenced by by um, by the political moves that that companies make too? I don't know about you guys, but when I see a fucking company clearly or a platform clearly like taking a side and um, and having a really fucking hardcore view about some shit, it makes me not want to fuck with well, them. Well, Gillette, exactly- Gillette, Gillette was the biggest, and this should be big for you because it was Massachusetts. They did that whole, or is Gillette, Gillette Connecticut, Stadium, bitch, whatever? Gillette oh yeah, Stadium. right, right. Foxborough. Gillette did a whole, Patriot, Gil- Nation, Gillette did a whole video about male uh, toxicity, mm. masculine toxicity. Is that what it's fucking called? Mm, I remember this. Whatever yeah. it is, they did this whole commercial, and everybody was just like, "Yo, what the what fuck, the fuck, fuck is wrong with you?" Right Wait, I think like, about yo, that every day when I'm going to the Gap, and they got the Pride flags on the outside. It's like I don't believe you. And the Michael Kors <laughs> store is right next door, and I'm like, at least he's a known dick eater. Gap, yeah. I don't believe it. Like this is a gay dude who started the company and still named Whoa. after him. Cool, Gap. Yeah. There's hey. probably no homosexuals on the fucking board Game at Gap, Bravo, right? Game I Bravo. don't know. Game Bravo. Game Bravo. Come on. Is that, re- is that possible? You made his headphones fall off. But remember when I was a little remember kid, that, that was the fucking thing. Oh, shit? Gap, huh? Game, Game Bravo. Bravo. Yeah. But you little know you can't say that now. Game. No. Uh, that's why you don't see me laughing. I'm just sitting here. I didn't think that was funny at all. <laughs> no, to give you some context, we're all a little bit older. That shit, when Gap was really mm. popping, if yeah. you were a Gap hoodie, it was, it was a joke. It was Game and Proud. Yeah. It was. Bravo. Let me ask you this. Did my Mom's basement died because of YouTube's prohibitive uh, monetization policies. No, no, God, no. I don't do anything with monetization. But weren't you guys spending like 10 grand on an episode and it just became like, because you you were infuriated when they demonetized your Shane Dawson episode, right? Well, the team, I think, was. I, I... Dude, I don't fucking I've know. I've seen you tweaking a little bit on Twitter, though, but I, I don't blame you, <laughs> oh, but no, I'm just no, saying no. that that's got, them. No, I get mad at that because it fucks with the views. Mm, oh, that. They, they yeah. Don't oh, push, yeah, yeah. Dude, you don't get pushed. If your video is demonetized, you don't get pushed. People, mm-hmm. people don't You'll know that. you get less views. Yes, yes. yes. People don't know, know that. that right? That's a fucking yeah. real thing. And mm. and even more so, fuck, I don't even know if I want to say this, but Bust it. if you don't, Bust it. Bust if you don't <laughs> monetize those... Um, Mid roll shits like how many how many ads have you been doing the mid roll shits not just the first T-Wop does listen fun fact I've never edited a YouTube video in my life yeah. I've never uploaded a YouTube yeah, video yeah, yeah, T-Wop yeah. does it all fucking I don't I so can t- I can tell with you for sure there ain't no way you're putting all those <laughs> <laughs> I was just hearing that they the the algorithm can tell when you're censoring the swears really? out now too oh my fucking god I'm just not, I, I don't heard. censor any of my shit. I don't censor I, I used to not. I don't people, are, people are mad at it me. It would be useless. T Wop's just like, dude, we got to do this. Because, yo, because, like, at the end of the day, my thought is that a brand that you build over time will be more valuable than the ad money you get by being a bitch. If that makes sense. Wait, the, wait, the, wait. The, the so brand, some people are making stuff brand, for families, yes, too, you know? Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> but to be for family people like us. Bread. Good for fucking. That's but fine. the people like us, the brand that you will build by being real. Not censoring, not not swearing, and dealing with some of that demonetization. The brand you will build and the people that will follow you will be more valuable over a long period of time than the ad money will be. Because at some po- yes. at point, some yes. point you'll be able, you'll have so much brand equity you'll be able to monetize that audience with whether it's clothing, whether it's a new CBD product, wherever the fuck it is, alcohol, condoms. Who who cares? I'm working under that assumption too. If I edited yeah, all the swears gone. in this, it would just sound insane. You would just you oh would just be God. another YouTuber, insane. bro. That was insane. But I, I don't think people get that offended when they watch a Phase Bank. 10 minute vlog and there's like you know woo woo instead of the swears but I think yeah. that if they were watch this and yeah, it was yeah. like all the swears that it did out it would just be hell you it's know like watching, you it's be like, silent bro, it's like and for what to get a little bit higher CPM like, it's like whatever, listening bro. to a song on the radio 
Oh God, that like hurts Al- you in Al- your soul, Roddy right? Rich out the mod on the radio. Yeah, yeah, just. No, I no. got I got to sing along. I love along. the song, but no. yeah. you know when you know when you're at the club and you realize that the DJ just put the clean song on mm. and it just makes you so sad. Do you like ever you you're sitting in your cry. car and you go on Apple Music and you go to play a new album but you put on the clean version and, your homies are and, in the car? and, and 30 seconds in you realize that they're bleeping shit out and you're like, "Oh, <laughs> pull over the side of the road." <laughs> no! That's me. I'm saying. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Way. Yeah. So through all this Tifu shit, I got some feedback from some of these like bum ass fucking 35, 40 year old like wannabe businessmen, like ex Walmart managers who fucking think they know everything about business and talk with all this fuck, whatever. I got a bunch of shit for not being professional mm. and being like, I'm one of the faces of esports, right? And like, at, they're trying so hard for this to be this big, professional, clean, you know, necktie, fucking, like, ne- whatever thing. And I, I'm getting some shit for that. Like, what do you guys think about that? Do you think I should be more professional? Do you think it would be in my best interest? That's one more? question, but what I will say is that anytime you have any kind of burgeoning or growing niche culture subsect of the world or whatever, that's always one part that they will use against you to try to silence you is they'll tell you, oh, you're making blank look bad. Oh, you're making blank look immature. And it's like, at the end of the day, these arguments are going to play out one way or another. Like you could look at the most sophisticated, developed sports and stuff. Like maybe you look at the NBA and it's like, yeah, you, you don't see a ton of like super public arguing and riffing between the teams and stuff because you do have the league really trying to stop that. And they're going to punish you. They're going to fine you if you do something inappropriate, whatever. I don't necessarily think that that is the best end result situation. I like when the people who are are loud and like, I like the fact that in hip hop, you are quite likely to see someone who's like an elder statesman of hip hop, like a T.I. or whoever, get on his Instagram story when he has a when he has a problem with Kodak Black. He gets on his Instagram story and says, listen here, motherfucker. You know, I like that. It's real. It feels real. Welcome in L.A. You're not welcome here anymore. Like, that's the thing. Like, it depends on what you want. Do you want? Do you want to go to a multi-billion dollar organization just to say you went to be a billion dollar organization or multi-billion dollar organization? Or do you want to stay true to who you are? We're going to get there regardless, but go ahead. But that's the thing. If you know that, then there's no question. If you know that, if you're going to become a multi-billion dollar organization, whether you censor yourself, bitch out, do whatever the fuck, then why do it? Then why do it at all? Why, is, why, is, why, why is, censor yourself? This is where it comes from with me, all right? And Tava's going to be mad at me for saying I that. Never, I <laughs> never claimed to be professional. I never wanted that. I never claimed any of that. I never tried to be that. In video games and the internet, it's so brand new. And it's, exa- it's whatever the fuck we decide it is. Mm. And I think the most beautiful thing about the internet is the information and everything you get and cons- consume instantly is so raw and real at all times. You can always find out the truth and you can always figure it out. And like, I don't know, this just like pretending to be, try to be the NFL and pretending to try to do that. Like it, it, it bothers me because there's a lot of people now with a lot of money who are coming in esports who have never fucking picked up an Xbox. That controller. must be crazy for yeah, you having also, seen it from yeah, the beginning it, in a unreal. lot of ways, not it's, the beginning, but early. I mean, the beginning. In terms yeah. of the online the version of it, for sure, yeah. The beginning, as far as like esports goes and professional, the idea of playing video games professionally, mm. the beginning. Like I was there from the fucking beginning, right? And it's like, this is whatever the fuck we say it is. Because to be real, there aren't many organizations that are doing what FaZe is trying to do that are organic the way we're organic. Mm. Me, Apex, Rain, Tommy, we met on Xbox. I was fucking broke my whole life, right? We met on Xbox, we started this little clique, we played video games just to fucking do it. We started a little team, we repped the same name, we fucking, we, we got an audience and we fucking snowballed on that and like, we really are from this shit. Like mm. this is was us, like, and who I wanna represent are those kids. like. Like I said, everyone from my parents to my friends to everybody told me, bro, are you out of your fucking mind eight years ago? Video games, money, are you fucking crazy? Like I was going to UMass Lowell. I was going there, I was going to be an accountant mm. and I was fucking, I had a whole fucking life figured out and whatever and I fucking dropped off and I was making $1,000 a month and whatever and all I want to do this shit for is them. And like I said, I just want, fa- I want what face to represent. I want this logo and this brand to just represent 
the fucking gamer because there's nothing for them. You the know business I mean? people, though, they want the brand to be bigger than any individual star. And they probably look at your star, star power and the fact that all these kids are so beholden to you as kind of like a liability. It because is, it, it, by the way, it is. Right. It is. Huge. And, I, and I, I'll tell you, it's a huge think, think about who at this table knows that better than anyone. It's a huge Think liability. about that. Logan was the only face of a $33 million 2017 merchandise organization. Wow. Plus an $33 million in mm -hmm. 2017. The only face of it. There was no one else. And when you're a YouTuber, his, his that's team how it is said to him, no, they were you need to, it. you need to diversify. You need other people, other legs to stand on in case some SJW or some shit fucking goes down. And we all know what happened. And yeah. it happened, right? And by the way, like, we're way back up. Things are fucking great right now. Like everything's everything's good, the right? The podcast is great. The you. podcast is fantastic. I love it, bro. But a little bit more of like an adult as, angle of his personality. It shows him as a real person. It's but I feel like you are like the the star of the podcast. And if, said if, that. if anything has happened because of the podcast, it's like oh, like Logan Don't is gas sort of. Him up. But Don't. it's true. Like he sort of introduced us to this dude Mike. That yeah, like yeah, now yeah. all these Logan Paul fans like. I don't know if he ever had like a co-star in his videos that he was hyping up or having around as much as he's had you. It's kind of interesting. He's just thing. never he's just never been about collabs. He never mm -hmm. wanted to do collabs. Jake liked collabs, Logan never did. He wanted he he's very focused. He's all about doing things different and doing it the way that he wants to do things. It it it, it worked and it continues to work, but when it comes to the podcast He'll even go and say it. He'll be like, yo, Mike, you 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 are the out of the two of us, you are the podcaster. Mm. Out of the two of us. You you've got a extensive knowledge. You've been through a lot of shit in your life. You've got a lot of wisdom. You know about a lot of different topics. And you're fucking funny. Do you all of these? No. I'm good. And, yeah, and he's like Starbucks your, gang. And you're fucking Meth funny. In my cup. Yeah. But bro. It's been interesting. I mean, he's 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 learning. He's doing he's doing really good himself. And Viagra, though, real quick. Yeah, go for it. It's fire. It's great. Yeah, yeah. So I, I do want to. Scared. This I just don't want to mess with the chemistry. Down I do. There. No, no, no. I, I <laughs> no, felt the fine. same. I felt the same way. Once in a fucking grand while, me, me and my boy, we had two girls. We're like, yo, these girls are fucking freaks. We're gonna go back to your apartment. We don't really have a lot of space to work with. We're gonna have to wipe <laughs> these girls out in the same room. All right, cool. We're all fucked up. We're walking back. Whatever. This is the professional shit I was talking about, right? This mm. is just a real story about my real life. Sorry. Um, my boy pulls out a fucking Viagra. He's like, "Let's fucking do it." And I'm like, "Oh man, let's fucking do it!" Like it was your first time. Shit, man. Like it was your first time taking like, shrooms or like, some shit. Like, like, come on, no, man. This would be great. Bro, it kind of <laughs> was. It, it kind of was like that. It was like some drug shit. I'm like, "Oh man, I don't fucking know." I don't know, man. I don't know. But I fucking trusted him. We banged him out, and it's fucking. It's real. Well, yo, here's the deal. Let me, let me, let me, let me, you know what I want to get me pop in. Kodak's you know writing get... songs about it, so there's oh, got to be yes. something good let about you know it. I want to get in my, yo, we should start the Viagra wave. It's sick. It's no, for kids, it kids, kids. Let's have a Viagra sponsor party. Me. Sponsor me, Viagra. <laughs> no. else? I don't give a fuck. What here's up? the deal. Listen, kids. if you're vain, <laughs> Listen, if you're, if you're dick normally, when you see, when you're with the hottest chick or some chick you fuck with heavily, has two veins. In it, two big bulging blue filled up blood veins. Jesus Would you imagine Christ. if it had like eight or ten or twenty? Wow. Because when you pop a Viagra, your dick goes from being a male human organ to being an intercontinental ballistic missile, bro. Dude, it's the fucked. thing is, like, it becomes your arm, bro. Missile. It's crazy, dog. Never in my life have I been so confident leaving a situation like a like a morning after situation like i left that and i was like wow because we yeah because she was in a and wheelchair we, no, and we she went, was in listen, a fucking you had to and, bring her to an old and, people's yo, home, yo, yo, and we both went bananas we were switching we were doing some fucking crazy shit i left that situation like yo these girls are gonna go back to whoever the fuck they know and mm. they're gonna say yo we met these two kids from lol and they fuck these kids threw they it put in down work. yeah like, this was not only did one of them but like we just so happened to run into the two fucking stallions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit was. How crazy. did we get both? The one thing I have. You know what I want in my room? The what? A little glass. Dispenser? No, 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 a little no. Like, like a, a Pez, Pez but with Viagra. <laughs> no, not that. You sick fuck. Pez, I've done it one time, by the way. And listen, if you're under the age of like, I'm about, let's 40. say 20. <laughs> yeah. What? What? But like, if you're under the age of like 23, <laughs> then don't ever. Don't fuck because your talking. dick has. You're fine. Y yeah, Unless it doesn't work, then go talk yeah, to your fucking doctor problem. or whatever. <laughs> but yo, I want a little fucking, I want a little glass box in my room on the wall with a little hammer hanging down. Break it yeah. some of one <laughs> single Viagra in it. <laughs> How hard would that be? Yo, one, I'm going to ask you guys this. One thing I've also noticed in this city, 
is I, cause you know, we all talk, we talk about shit being from the East coast. I grew up eating pussy. Like, bro, like it, it was something that we all, yeah. I have met a lot of people, both guys and girls in the city Guys that are like, I just don't really do it. And girls, I even met a couple of girls that were like, Well, not with everyone. Really... Listen, you can't eat everyone out. Oh no, that's what I'm saying. No, no, yeah. I get I get There's that, but like, but like I spent a lot of my life just eating whoever out. And when I think about it now, I'm like, God damn, oh, God. that was sick. Ass, man. Probably asses too. <coughs> oh. You probably ate some oh. crazy ass. I'd be meeting bro. chicks at warehouse shows and bringing them back to my place. It's four in the morning. We were dancing, sweating our asses off. I'm eating their ass at four in the morning. I'll be God. honest with you, that's the wave I'm on right now. <laughs> I, I, I was trying to like He's pretend. Actually, Dude, Trying to, are loose. I was trying to, I was trying to pretend, but like, yo, I, I have been just, I've been eating, bro. I respect that about you, even though I've had a girlfriend for three years, so my like tolerance for doing disgusting shit is not really as high as it used to be. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm out just here not right now. Used like, to like it, I was yeah. just in Miami this past week. You have way with... more room to fucking decide what you want to do and not want to do. You know, but I love, I love it because like last night we fucked some girl together, and then afterwards <laughs> I was just checked out. Like I'm just fucking watching whatever on youtube i'm working on my computer i'm like i don't have to pay attention to, to her she's shit. still talking do to they, her do they, oh that's fucking great you know it's like and the girl's not under the you know that's the thing i hate about being a relation or being single is just having a fake wanting to like have like fake liking someone's personality so that you can exchange bodily or fluids even, with that or not even why fake, or why not can't even, we be honest about i think you're hot you think i'm hot let's fuck and then you can just it's good you can just leave or not even faking that you like their personality but faking that you like their personality 24 hours a day. Mm. Like I had this girl over last oh I had this God. girl over last night and she was in the hot tub with me and she was just telling me all of these stories, like story after story after story after story. And that. I'm just sitting there and I'm just like, yo, we all know exactly what the fuck you're talking because about. Because I yeah. hate it because like, like, I'm just my exactly life is so much team. more interesting just, than yours. And I'm not sitting here telling you about all the shit in my life. But meanwhile, they're sitting there telling you about working at fucking Best Buy. Or like whatever. with such yeah. insane or like some, depth. Or like their teacher gave them a bad score on their yeah. test that they didn't deserve. And and it's like you can talk like, about things besides yourself. Like we could be sitting here talking about all kinds of stuff. But instead, you're telling me about your fucking boring ass life. It's like, and that's the problem with being a podcaster is that you start to have this like analysis of conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. so like, when wow, this sucks. like when you're having a conversation on camera the whole time you're thinking like is this a good conversation what should we talk about that people will like etc and then sometimes when you're just hanging out with regular people in regular life you're like holy shit like but judging by my newfound podcast standards you are boring as fuck <laughs> You gotta think of something better to talk about. Well, that's why I, I will do that too. I'll shove that fucking down people's throats. My yeah. girlfriend will say something boring while we're watching TV. I'll be like, that, "That's boring." I'm I can talk see about you that. saying that. I can hear you saying that. It's but bad. That's I have why, to hold back. Did but you that's tweet this out. Yeah, I'm gonna slap the read. I didn't fucking Ooh, appreciate. But it. that's why. That's why I've I fuck with. The, I've been off the grid. But that's, that's why, why I fuck with Riley and Gina and Alina and all them because they are fun, bro. Bro, they're mm -hmm. fun. Like they are fun. They're like I remember when we we went. Um, one night we we're all hanging out and like we whatever and Alina um, started playing guitar. She was just chilling playing guitar, bro. And I'm like, yo, this chick's so cool. And Riley's so fun. And like Abby and all those chicks are just so dope. And like so, they all have like great things to talk about. Like, mm. but I just you, love you them, never bro. you never locked down the uh, the threesome with Riley Reed. Yeah, what happened, You tweeted bro? about no, it, but didn't do we it. We never did it. We never did it. We never did it. We're That's chilling, right. Riley. Hey, we're, it's all fucking. Yeah. You don't even have to say it, bro. You Her and her homies, though. Huh? Me and Alyssa did some. Sh I don't know. She would hate me. I can't. She's got her own thing. No, you don't got her we own, did. We, we we were doing some weird shit the other night, and her and I, I look over at her phone. She's texting. The name's Riley. I'm like, was it her? Is that Riley? Riley? It was her. Alyssa was yeah, Alyssa's like, oh, I just did this and shit and like whatever. And Riley's like, oh, yeah, it's normal. And this is like, <laughs> I'm like, oh. She's the sweetest. Riley's the that sweetest. That tweet, girl, though, man. that shit went kind of viral. I said, is this a trap? That little fucking. I remember that. I, don't, I still don't know if it is. I it's not. I can assure you. It's There's not a, a lot of. No, from Alyssa's side. I don't think. I want to speak like from a podcast voice or from like a personally knowing you voice. You know it's podcast, not a fucking podcast. Just go in, go in. You know it's not a fucking trap. You know it's not a fucking trap, bro. I can speak. Bro. I'll talk about me till the fucking down cows come home, but fucking. Let's... You know it's not a fucking trap, No women trap, and children. Bro. Women and children. <laughs> Bro, we, nothing, we could talk nothing, about whatever. Nothing. <laughs> Alyssa's can, a, hey, Alyssa is a beautiful girl. Very, very respectful. She's, yo, she's awesome. How, how, Alyssa, how is your, Alyssa, how is your relationship right now? It's good. We're good. That's Everything's good. good. Yeah, we got fucking our dogs. We're doing our thing. Fucking yeah, she's doing her thing. I'm doing my thing. Dude, she's been my wife for two years. 
two years. We it's share crazy. everything. We share everything. We we um, we live at the same house. We <laughs> fucking we got the like I said the dogs and shit. Isn't she you, moving out to in with her friends? No, she's gonna she's gonna do that whole thing with Chantel Chantel Jeffrey, okay. Wolfie Cindy, and then this girl Lauren. Yo, that's a squad. Listen, Tyler, that's a squad. Tyler, yo, yo, I gotta it, say, bro, bro I'm that a is sucker. a hot fucking squad. Listen, bro. I'm a sick I'm a sicko for like good branding. They're calling their whole little new house in that squad the girls' room. It's fire. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Are you guys gonna be all right for like a minute and a half while I go take a piss? Yeah, I have to piss. Dude, so what are you guys gonna talk about? Just, all right, on, we'll, we'll we'll go in on. order. You guys yeah, talk about something. So, what do you what do you think about this, dude? He, he sucks. sucks. I was gonna say he's dope as fuck. Oh, I just yeah, yo he's he cool. so he's cool. He's cool. He's cool. He's cool. He used to um, no, at, dude. Adam is fucking gold. He is. I he want really him is. to be me, whatever the fuck I'm his age. That's who I want to be. I saw the um. I fucking he's a great. Hey, when yo, you're his age, he's a good he, guy. he was dressed as the Easter Bunny Get on Easter. Sucked. By fucking the shit out of Riley, Abby, and I can't remember what the whole. Oh, and Lena too. Yeah. Like bro, like what? Is this dude? And and the thing is, is like people are out here. They're like, how could anyone ever fucking hate on this guy? People are out here and they're like, Daniel Zarian, like all these like dudes, like, and 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 and, and Adam's just sitting in this fucking dank warehouse with fucking BMX fucking wall ride marks on the wall and shit, and people don't understand this dude quickest, is that running. Was like, that was the, the quickest shit, kiss bro. of all time. What? Be honest, did you wash your hands? No. No, I didn't no, because sure. there was a little girl standing outside the bathroom and I felt bad. <laughs> Oh, she, I, Wait, I don't think she went in. I think you could still bad? get it. No, it was like a customer like waiting to. He has an STD for sure. <laughs> this kid's pissed seven times today. He has an STD for, for sure. sure. Like for sure. We, you want to review the super chats here? Let's do it. Uh, All day. Banks with seven asses. What up? <laughs> don't follow at Rail Clips on Instagram. Fresh skate clips daily. Shut up. Um, Dallas, Houston, and Arlington bout it. I know splurge. Did he really spend two dollars to comment just to just tell me that he knows a rapper that I know? That's pretty Phase cool. Phase up, love you. Vincent Amador said, "Phase up." Okay. Oh, that, what about Etika? Did you know him? Oh that comma was fucked. Yeah, that was fucked. What they said was fucked. But let's have a real conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. about it. You knew Etika? Anything? No, honestly, no. right now, don't know what he looks like. I've I've really, really, really had to take a break from fucking social media for the last. Like, dude, I do, I'm not fake flexing the fact that like. I don't give a fuck about any of this shit. I well, give when a you fuck. don't upload for a year, yeah. I care about the, my fans. Like, I really do. Like, dude, I re like. There's some fucking people on the internet who are so full of themselves and so whatever that like, they're like uncomfortable at taking pictures or whatever. Dude, when I see a fucking when I see a kid out there, I know it's making his day to see me. Mm -hmm. I give him the what's good, dude. I have a fucking two minute conversation with them. I really care about the interaction. I take the picture. I fucking love these kids. Mm -hmm. I love my fans. I love these people. But fucking, I don't care about this shit. Like I don't. I don't. This isn't. This isn't who I define myself as. Like I'm one of the. You've you've heard me enough times say like, when people refer to me as a YouTuber, I hate it. Mm -hmm. I hate it. That's not who I am. Right. Like, that's not who I am. It's like you've been I, around long enough that people, uh, there's that most of your fans don't remember the early part of your career, so they have they don't really know how you got put on in the first place. They kind of assume that at one point you were like really, a daily vlogger, which really bugs me, man. Like, mm -hmm. I, dude, I really like not on some like egotistical like self centered shit. Like I say it all the time. Like I'm not that cool. Like I, when people went, we go into Target and 25 fucking people want to take a picture with me, and I'm with people who have never <laughs> been around me. Mm -hmm. They're like, dude. Who the fuck are you and what the fuck is going yeah, on? Yeah, but that's bull that's bullshit I say, though. I say like, like you're not that cool. Like I came here, I remember when I first met you, I was actually low key like some 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 tea. There was so much like drama. Like think about all the drama that when I first walked I remember the first three times I partied with you. Me too. At Cloud Me House, too. we didn't say one fucking word to wow. Nigel's house. Nigel's Not, house. Nigel's house. Yeah. And your house probably twice or three times. We didn't no, say hey, one fucking hey, what word. What did I bro. do though? No, 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 that's not true. I dabbed you up and said, "What's good?" Oh yeah, but it was like it was like yo, like <laughs> no, no, no. I, but <laughs> but but both of us though. I love because that. yo, both of us because yo, what up, man? There was so much fucking beef and like and just like static prior to that meeting, and so it, I, it like for a bunch of times, and then finally, what was the night we like broke through? There was one night, oh, I remember. With Tav. With Tav. Tav, Tav is, Tav's our home, like one He's of our He's my manager. Mutual. You know Tav now. I think so, yeah. He always has different color hair. Mm. He's fucking. Big promoter, like, but also runs like a lot of the phase. Yeah, like, yeah, he's. Brand he's, shit. 
Dude, he's one of my favorite he's people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hired him in. I hired three. So I don't normally hire people to like the fucking management side of things. Three guys specifically that I've met in LA. I was like, yeah, I want these guys on the team. I want to fucking hire them, whatever. Tav came in at like, not to put his numbers out there. I don't think he gives a fuck. I think we started him at like 60K a year or whatever, yeah, some yeah, baseline yeah. shit. Yeah. But, uh, and dude, he's been working for us for six months. He's already up to 90 a year. He, yeah. just, he just raised $6 million for us, got a fat bonus. You for better that. be giving that boy some equity too, bro. He deserves homie, it. Homie. He we're deserves talk, it. We're talking about it, and I want Tav in my life for the rest of it. Yeah. Really? I love that kid. He's a good kid. How we really started the piles. Do you know about the piles? Of course, bro. So the piles, it's my like group of friends <laughs> that have nothing to do with the internet. Degenerates. <laughs> It's 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 me, Tav, Nigel Houston, Kifa. Fucking, shout out Kifa, shout yeah, out Young Corey, yeah, shout out the yeah, fucking yeah. piles, dude, yeah. for real. So you're just and hanging you out with Nigel Houston and you end up starting a little gang? No, no, they had some like shit, dude. These kids are all from California. They've been friends for life. But I came here and they fucking loved me. And they're like, dude, you're with us now. Like, like whatever. And it reminded me so much of my homies from home that these kids are like. It's really, really important in LA, like really important to have actual friends. Yeah. A kid who you can fucking kick it with. You're not Snapchat and shit. You're just fucking kicking it. You know what I mean? But that can be hard. Dude, it's incredibly. <sighs> so bro, hard. I'm blessed on so many different levels. But for this specifically, like I have a group of friends who really do not give a fuck about how much money I have, the clout I have. We just connect on a personal level. And it's like, yeah. But I met him through that and I kind of just noticed like, He's kind of like the pack leader of it, and out of all the kids who are who are who are a part of that group, he was the one who was really just fucking. He's got like hu real hustle. Top, like top, yeah. He wakes up at fucking six a.m. He goes to sleep at fucking two a.m. So he so he runs, night. he runs some big parties here in L.A. But mm. his brother Tali, Tal, 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 I call Tal. him Tali, whatever. Tal runs chaos. Like the chaos part. Well, no, in no, Vegas. the whole palms. The whole, the whole palms. He's the, creative, Sorry, yeah. he's the creative like director of the. the so, palms this, so basically, Las let's put it this way: Las if you're Vegas, like, if you're like me and Banks, and you like to party, these are the dudes you need to know in LA and <laughs> yeah. Vegas. Like, if you know Tav and you're on like a text basis with him in LA, you're in <laughs> Warwick. You're in. You're in everywhere. Mm. You're in. It's like knowing Purple and Mr. Miami when you're in Miami. In Miami, yeah. yeah. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know Purple. You, sh you should. You should. You I've should. been to Eleven. I've seen you there. Me or oh, thanks. With with fucking uh, with Lil Pump. Wait, you saw me there? No, weren't you yeah. there with Pump? You said I was with Pump. Whoa, I was someone dinner. else saying that. I had dinner Pump? with Pump. Most legend. It was of, him. No, he one was of the at. most legendary things I've seen of all time. Lil Pump got his dick sucked <laughs> in eleven <laughs> by Riley Reid. <Reed. laughs> In really? the middle of a yes, he should have got his toes sucked. I remember too. Yes. all the toe shit. The toe <laughs> that was right. Yo, let me Riley, let me let me go back to Riley. But was really he quick. tested, Riley? Oh, <laughs> did he really? Did he really? No, but I mean, God, no. Porn, did you get tested? Porn stars no, aren't supposed to be sucking cleanest. random civilian no, 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 dick saying, when they got a scene to film the next week. Yeah. I know that's one thing I never understood about that. They're all lying. They no. all say they don't fuck without condoms but and stuff. They're all that's lying. That's one thing uh, because I tried to figure out. 100%. I tried to figure out why that squad, that whole squad, was about it. I'm like, yo, these girls have to film. They're all just fucking and sucking dick, brother, without any care in the world. Hmm. Are we even all, Can we even talk about this? What? Sucking dick? We're kind like, of putting the whole porn industry. Yeah, last. like, aren't. Yeah, is that nah, bad? fucking air it out. There Some might be an article about this. Yeah, like, porn, is porn really clean? Like, or safe? Yeah, because like they're like, no, oh. no, 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 no. Listen, listen. But you see all these porn listen. star chicks with all these rappers and stuff. It's like, you think those dudes are clean? Listen, Come on. Listen, or listen. Or you think they're tested? But hold on, hold on. Let me say this, though. There are so many hoes in LA that fuck <laughs> guys every single night. No, and they never get tested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at but, least but, these yeah, porn stars, the adult these industry, porn stars they're are getting tested like what? Like twice a month. What it's, okay. Once every two okay, weeks. So, is that what it is? Dude, every two weeks, yeah. That's far more than most of these rap dude. I'm not Random ass I'm not girl on Warwick. How long you think it's been since they've been tested? At so least six long. months. We're talking about girls who get tested when they have when shit's leaking. <laughs> yeah. <from> their <laughs> when there's visible Ooh, signs. You literally have Nickelodeon they, gack, gack falling out of her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to get tested. Slime time. Slime. Live. Slime. Jesus gack. Christ. The gack. gack. Wow. Bro, <laughs> nothing more uh, did I want as a kid than just to be showered in Gak. Oh my god. You, so you used to watch so um what was the one where there was uh, double dare or whatever oh, they yeah, would just with Summer Sanders showered in Gak. Yeah. Summer Sanders yeah, I love just falling you over your head. Gak. Next time I know on a girl's face, someone will look down and just be like, damn, look at that gak. Yo, that so fucking one gack ra on one rapper out there needs to own that word and it needs to be synonymous with 
jizz. Yeah. Gak. Jankum. Are you familiar with Jankum? Like the fucking the piss and shit. <laughs> in the bottle well, this, and I like. I, I haven't thought about Eye it in drops. a while or what it was, but you know that dude Justin Wang, who I'm actually a big f- fan of. W H A N G. Whoa, the, the the Asian dude. Asian dude. Does, <laughs> and his his bio guy. says not Steve Aoki. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> does he look, what's he look like? Like oh Steve Aoki. Yes, yes. <laughs> but he has an amazing that. channel. Everybody should go subscribe to him. But he has he a has video. Black that, hair and he's Asian. He oh, has a video yeah, that's yeah. like Jankum, like the roots of Jankum. Like, is Jankum real? All this shit. Is and like, it? I, basic conclusion he comes to is that there's at least been some kids out there doing Jankum. Jesus Horrific. fucking Christ. Horrific. The one thing. It's like that, that South Park episode <laughs> where they all start huffing cat piss. It's like, what the fuck? Remember that one? Where yes. Kenny fucking, and he's got the, <laughs> Kenny loves it. Kenny's the fucking, Kenny. <laughs> I gotta see Mike at some point in his life getting fucked oh, up with cat piss or, or jankum or something. <laughs> Connecticut jankum. Nah, I'm not supposed to be doing drugs, bro. Really? I mean. How's that going? I'm not, no, I don't no, do no. drugs. He's a good, listen. I don't do drugs. When I he mean, says, I've been, I've been, listen, this is another thing that's listen, been. Listen, when, when you say we, I want to clarify this, when you say we like to party, we do. But party in the sense of we just like to have a good fucking. I, dr- I listen. I've been very vocal about this. I drink. I spent the the ages of twenty. Uh, sorry, I spent the ages of eighteen to twenty six addicted to oxycontin and heroin, mm. and which is bad. Very, very bad. bad. Don't do those ever, things, kids. Ever. I I buried a lot of very close friends that I ate dinners with their family and then where we're from then, it's a problem a mm. major big, problem big, big connecticut problem. mass ohio that's the fucking opiate tr- i like, lost friends in high school to this shit. i still do i get calls every fucking week yo this dude just went down this dude just went down one one kid hit me up guys last seriously week. I, I need to say this seriously it is the grossest worstest horrible in the entire world no pills i don't care if you go to the no hospital you got a broken pills. leg don't take those fucking oxys yo, that they give you you know don't be a surgeries. Right I, out. I did the last two surgeries I did with no with no painkillers. Good for I've had Honestly, insane. I had a I had a, um, a, a a hernia surgery. They ripped my abdomen open, put mesh in, and sutured it up. I said I will not. I will never do a painkiller for the rest of my life. Hernia, I was addicted huh? to oxys for fucking eight years. Wow, really? And I st- and I got a call last week from some dude, and he's like, um, well, I know you were I know you were friends with Mike. I just want to let you know he he died this morning. You know what I'm saying? This is in Connecticut, and he was like, "Would you would you mind sharing his his um uh, GoFundMe page so he can be buried?" Like the thing is, is like that. That's why, and I feel like you get it, and you get it. That's why when a lot of this YouTube beef happens, I'm all, I'm it's always just like, "Yo, like who gives a fuck, bro?" I'm shit. burying friends from opiates. I I I've been fucking. I, I've seen so much shit, bro. I got I got scars all over my body from back home. Like I've had I've had. Ten fucking surgeries where I almost bled out. Like this shit's all is all dumb as fuck to me. You know what I'm saying? And so like I just keep it. All I want to do is be part of a clique that keeps it real on YouTube, and that's why I fuck with Banks, and that's why I fuck with you. Appreciate you know what I'm saying? Because like y'all don't do shit because it's cool mm. and put on a face. The easiest thing I do is go to work every day or go on the podcast because I never have to try anything. It's just me. Like, people are like, yo, is this you? Like, what do you do differently when you sit down on the podcast? No, this is who I am. And that's why I think when I look at the stuff that a lot of, you know, young kids end up arguing about on Drama Alert or whatever, it's just that they don't have much life experience. So they oh think God, that they're going man. through some shit oh when they're God, really not, dude. you know? At all. Hey, hey, go work at a fucking gas station for two years every <laughs> yeah. fucking day and tell me about your problems after that. Well, I'm saying, you know and, 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 like, and like, yo, at the same you know time, nothing. like, not, not to advocate it, but... Go sell bundles for fucking for five. I sold fucking heroin for five fucking years, bro. I was bagging up grams of heroin. For Don't five actually fucking years. do that. Don't do that. <laughs> but it's I'm a just saying, like, life. but I'm saying, like, do the, the down the downfall from that of doing that and the shit you see of what it's like to be tied up in addiction and dealing and overdoses and stabbings and sh- I've seen every single fucking thing possible, bro. Mm. I was on probation, everything. I did 55 days in rehab. Like I've been through all that shit. And so it's like, I, I, like when I see a lot of that shit that goes down and people are like really stressed out about like really small things, it's I crazy. do my best to relate and be like, yo, I can help you through this. And they're like, oh, this happened to me. And like, no one's pain is worse than anyone else's. Mm. Yeah, and I've yeah, talked yeah. about this on the podcast it's too. Like my, it's all, it's all, it's all relative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like your pain for like losing your cat 
is as bad as my pain from losing my best friend to a heroin overdose. It's like a, a, like a, like let's just say a utopia would be possible where everything's perfect, everything's amazing. There's yeah. nobody feels pain. Everybody's rich. Everybody's happy. Everybody's pretty. Whatever you have, everything you could ever want. Everyone across the globe has everything. All of a sudden, a paper cut is the worst thing that <laughs> for can everybody. ever happen. Right. And then everybody you have tweets yeah. like, "Yo, yo, yo." Like I'm sorry, I heard about the fucking paper, paper cut, cut you got. <laughs> like whatever, you know. What, for real, right. though. Like, like it's like it's all like you said, relative. It's all relative, yeah, but yeah. it's a big, but it's a big conversation that's missing right now. Now I do, I do a lot, and like, I still. I, the problem for me right now is I try to have this, I try to have this conversation about addiction, and about mental health and about sobriety. And yo, I still do drink. Right. Like I still, I still drink. I'm very in control. I drink a couple times a week, whatever the fuck. Right? Well, after you've been addicted to heroin, it's a fun day. But if you've been podcast. addicted to heroin for that long, then a lot of these mm -hmm. drugs don't really no it's hit no, the no, radar. No, 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 no. With addiction, if, with shit. addiction, yeah. if you are an addict, you are an addict. Really? I do not want to sit on this podcast or on, on my podcast or anywhere and ever promote using alcohol or anything if you have a past addiction. This is, this, this honestly is okay. Been, you haven't that been said, for a long time. A long so time. I've been clean for 10 years. So you've had time to control it, I shit. went a bunch yeah. of years without doing any alcohol, without yeah. using alcohol or drugs at all. Uh -huh. Now I'm able to drink occasionally, but honestly, like the big, like, Really quickly, we haven't talked about Etika at all today. We did actually while Yo, you were in so the bathroom, know, but okay. we neither so of us so, knew so, him. So, 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 yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so I didn't either, but I talked about it, and it's a conversation that's not happening. There's a massive oh miss, oh my bro. god this kid yeah yeah no way all right listen it was very very clear to me I, I saw one video was on World Star where the fucking cops came and shit this kid I was, remember this that, kid yeah. was manic. Yeah. He follows me and shit. The fact that he wasn't Dude, that, put that's in a hospital so sad. That's so and sad. taken care of, like, uh, like the mental health conversation and the addiction conversation in this country right now is lacking because conversations about Tana Manjo and fucking Jake Paul being engaged are more important. Right. Like, like, like I'm not saying that that's it's so not sad. always Yo, been like this, but like people are dying. People are fucking peace, dying, bro. Mm. Like literally, people are fucking dying. But that and that's the question too, because Etika was publicly melting down dude, for dude, months. Why did no one did shit? You got, do I you mean, know I feel like shit. some people wanted to, but he was so off on his own thing. Yo, it, do you, either of you guys know about my fucking breakdown? Like, we've a, while ago? a yeah, little bit, so. a little yeah. bit. You've yeah. seen or heard about I've, it. I've heard you talk about it. And I lost stuff. my fucking mind. Yeah, I was living in Europe. I, I remember you talking about it after the Fousey thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I actually got a bunch of good feedback on how I handled my approach to that because I like. It was very clear to me, like, Fousey was fucking manic. And literally and I, everything you said about what he was going through, he then confirmed, like, yes. six months later on yep. Impulsive. Yes, yes, exactly. Yep. 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 Like, I could not have fucking, this shit was happening. This dude was actually losing his mind. Things were not working. Chemicals were fucking. Not firing. Probably. Not firing. Yeah. Pro like, th th his brain was in trouble, and it was like, oh, my God, dude, I've fucking been there. I spent two weeks in a mental hospital, and it was the fucking worst thing i've like in a fucking hospital where people were actually crazy mm. like i went in there and i kind of woke up like sleep is a huge thing so I, big i was like i was like i think i had I, I i was keeping a fucking diary at the time writing crazy <laughs> shit down yeah, yeah, yeah. i still have it to this day it's Love fucked it. and like i like i hadn't i hadn't slept it, was, it had been 15 days, and I think I slept a grand total of like eight hours. How did you even get to that point that you? Were... I was eating. I was eating caffeine pills, oh, and God. to be to be c completely honest about it, Adderall pills, and, yeah. I, and I and I passed it off as like an Adderall addiction, and like I tried to like because I felt like that was more relatable, mm. but it was so much deeper than that. It was just like I was losing my mind, but I was enjoying it, and like I'm a pretty like I'm an I'm a pretty intelligent person yeah, when it yeah. comes to just like structuring a conversation and fucking I feel like I'm tapped in a little bit more than the average person and people liked what I was saying to them like mm. I was I was going crazy and I was saying shit and people were responding well to it and I, I got addicted to being that crazy response. Like I loved it yeah and I just kept going deeper and deeper and I fucking lost it I, I lost my mind I was on a flight from Norway to, I was living in uh Europe for a little while, for a couple months, and that also fucked with my was fucked with my head. You went out there to try to like get your shit together. No, no, I was out there for just work, some okay. work shit. Like we we um um for phase or yeah yeah. So our first our first this is another thing with the lawyers and stuff. This is some tea, I guess. You guys want salads? I'm ordering from Sweet Green. No, I'm good. 
Honestly, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Before we do this, yo, 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 everybody. No, 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 no. I know what I need. Listen, everybody watching this, pay close attention. I gotta see this. To what I'm about to do. This is a life hack. Maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't. But I did this the other day at a fucking little cookout. It's Tuesday, by the way. Taco Tuesday. That's the Ron is. We're having a fun day. Yeah, it's a, it's a little podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're having a good day. Listen, bag of chips. I, he, he was talking about this before. You open by the, the way, too. You open the bag. It's like whatever you pass it around. It kind of sucks. Listen, look what I'm about to do. You take the edges, the corners, and you bend them up. You curl the bag in. Mm. You ready? No, no. This is fucked. Ready? And all of a sudden, wow! It's a fucking bowl. Holy Overflowing. shit, Overflowing. Look at that. Insane. Don't you feel like you just showed insane? up at Chili's? This is actually fucked. That's Do you beautiful. See that? You're saving yourself you a lot of pain. Me? Are hurt. you fucking yeah. joking? Me? You're saving yourself a lot of pain. He said, <laughs> "Dude, it, digging into the bottom of that thing, you're getting your whole forearm dude, and then sugar and, as, and, and as you juice." Go deeper, you you're, you eat the chips and then they go down and you curl it up. It's, it's, it's in, this is insane. My Give body, no part of my body had to enter the the bag. Yeah, but you're not supposed to be eating them. You're supposed to be eating sweet greens. Bro. It's crazy that you created like a billion dollar business and you're just figuring this out now. No, I fig- I figured this out a long time ago. <laughs> I saw it on some life hack video. But actually, I, this is what led me to the whole face but, thing. Yeah, this, <laughs> if I can do this, if this, yes. Well, no, I they, I did it at a party or a little cookout thing two days ago, and people were like. What? Okay, but let's keep going with the, the mental health and the, okay, the okay, Etika yeah, situation yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything. Because this is a big mental topic, or, or a big topic, and I feel like, you know, we should probably talk about it because we, we are probably, like, less pussy than a lot of the people I see talking about it. And that's a big part of what goes through my brain when yeah. I'm reading about mental health. It's like, some of you are fucking pussies, and you're just using this mental health thing yeah, to be a big I'm old excuse say, for the fact that you have no coping mechanisms. No, it's not whack. It's not whack. No, no, but no, no, it's no. a fine line. It, 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 no, no, it's not, it's not that. It's just they, people have been trained to not talk about it. Mm. No, 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 no. Let no, me, no, let me no, say no, something right now. Saying, Dro- I'll drop something. Okay. You, I'm on a, I'm on effects so right now. Go. I'm on effects right now. Go. Like, I'm still on antidepressants right now. Good. From the 10 years. No. But from the 10 years I spent as a drug addict, like, I still am trying to figure out my mental health right now. And no one's talking about mental health. I never got a reaction from people, from fans, from viewers, until I started talking about mental health. Mm. Mental health is the one topic that everyone, a lot of people can relate to. There's a lot of people out there right now struggling with their mental health, struggling Mm. with anxiety, with depression, with pain and trauma whoa, whoa. and shit that they've never fucking worked out and when they watch these videos and these and see these instagram pictures of of influencers that have this perfect life and are flying on private jets here and there i've gone way out of my way to always talk about my addiction to always talk about my mental health because i want people out there to know that you're not the only person that's going through it and more importantly The most important thing is that you will get through it and you can get as big as you want in life. I remember five shit, 10 years ago, right before I got clean, I was sleeping on basement floors, bro. I spent one night in the trunk of a car. Wow. I I know it's funny. I'm too tall for that. You can, I'm six (laughs) three. I slept in the trunk of a Chrysler Crossfire in East Haven, Connecticut. A Chrysler Crossfire because I had nowhere else to go and the girl's parents, they hated me. I slept anywhere I could, bro. I was in the fucking streets, like real talk. Where's my fucking and then I, and now, bro, I live in a fucking 8,500 square foot mansion. Oof. I make great fucking money yeah. and life is good. And so like, I've always wanted to go out of my way to tell people, yo, you can get out. Mm. It, it will happen. You just gotta, you gotta figure it out, stay strong. No matter what happens, keep crawling forward. And like, it was really sad for me to see Etika today, bro, because he get, he didn't give up. But like, it's people sad. gotta stay strong, bro. You gotta stay strong. Life is fucking hard, bro. Life is I feel so like with hard, him more dude. so was like not giving up, but like the dude was really sick. And what I was talking about earlier, yeah. So for me, I I can admit like, I pass this whole once in a while. You'll you'll be like. Banks is a drug addict. Banks is a drug addict. Like, I claimed, false claimed, like, Adderall addiction, right? It's, yeah, fucking, it's all Adderall's fault. That's kind of like an easier thing I to pin it on. I was so, so embarrassed, man. Like, it was, it was so, I was, dude, I lost my whole life in the blink of an eye. We're talking about a kid who, for the first 22 years of my life, I grew up in Lowell, Mass. I was fucking broke. 
and I lived a normal ass life. I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do. I didn't move out of my house until I was 22. Didn't really know what I wanted to fucking really do with my life until around that time. And like you said, it can all change in a fucking instant. The most important thing for you to do is you need to take care of yourself. You need to really address the fucking deep, deep issues in your life. And you need to, and you need to trust yourself and no one else. Fuck everyone else. Fuck their opinion about what you're doing. Go for it. With that being said, I kind of went off a little bit. But I did all that. I, I had it. I got it. I was traveling around the world. I, I had been in a plane one time before all this. And then all of a sudden, me and Tommy are fucking flying, flying to constantly. fucking yeah, other yeah, countries. Yeah. And yeah. fucking girls are fucking like, whoa, that's what you do. This is sick. And I'm like... Fuck, I was always a sociable kid in high school. I always had fun. I always had friends, whatever. But like this, now I felt like a winner. Now I felt like I was on a mission. Whereas before, six months prior, I was fucking lost. I was sad. I was depressed, whatever. Don't give up. Shits could change like that. Trust what you want to do. Do what you love. And just fucking move forward. It's not even that shit can change. It's that shit will. Like shit, that's the thing people like... People that are struggling, they're like, oh, no, it won't. It won't ever change. It's not that there's a chance that it can change. Life changes for the better or worse. Mm. And so always, it's just a really, like, you know this, you know this. Like, it's just a roller coaster that you just got to ride, bro. When I think about my teenage years, I think I would have benefited a lot from having this sort of conversation about mental health taking place in the public arena where you could just see people talking about that stuff. Because when I think about what my life was like when I was 16, I was clearly depressed as fuck and miserable, but I didn't have the language to even describe how I felt. And nobody was approaching me, like nobody, like I remember the first time when I court ordered therapist or whatever, I was having a conversation with him and he started to suggest basically that there were like reasons why I was fucked up in the head, things from my childhood, everything like that. And it was the first time I had ever thought about my own life in those terms and in terms of how I can gain an understanding of things that had happened to me and how I can make my life better and everything that that mentality had never really been presented to me and I would compare it to like the same way that when I think about it my parents didn't know what the fuck they were feeding us when I was a kid. It's stuff like that, you know, where it's like the food, like they just didn't, they weren't, you know, in the eighties or the nineties, they, they didn't know what was the, the, Dude, the really healthy want, shit to feed a kid. Like, I want to respond God, to what you're sure. saying. I really, really want to respond to what you're saying. So I have a really, like, I feel like a unique take on mental health. And I like, I feel like I'm allowed to speak on this because I was, I've been diagnosed with bipolar and all this shit. Like, I think all that shit, all the labels and shit are bullshit. I think that there's certain ranges of what makes a person a person, and I think that everyone falls in line with something, right? The, the goal is to be in the middle, right? <clears throat> you don't wanna be too, too happy, but you don't wanna be too, too sad. You wanna mm. be a fucking level, very like consistent person. Most people want to be that. I would like to, I like to attribute a lot of my success to how fucking absolutely crazy I am. Mm. So I enjoy who I am, I'm, I'm happy with who I am, whatever, but Everyone on the fucking planet has experienced anxiety to a, to a degree. Everyone has experienced depression. Everyone has had mood swings. Everyone, ha everyone has that. My chemicals in my brain, who I am, what makes me... I have a heart, I have a fucking lungs, I have a brain, and it's all the same. We all share the same shit. The way it works for some people is different. You might have a heart condition, my shit might be fucking flawless. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're all a little bit different, and the brain is no different. The way you respond to these to this mental health stuff, I dude, I think the whole the whole prescription drug thing, it's a mess. I, it's evil. That's it part is, of it. It is the most. That's mess, part of why bro. these kids are so dude, fucked dude, up. Dude, it is the most. It's because they're being given that shit well, listen, at a young listen, ass age. I, I, we've gone. To, we've talked about this a lot on the show. I, I think that there is some merit to prescription drugs as it pertains of to course. getting as it pertains to getting you to a place where you have a fighting chance of course there are people who are there are people who are who are drowning they're fucking drowning bro they have no hope at all of course and and a pill that they can take could get them to a place where maybe they could put up a fucking fight here's the problem i mean just like this if you're, this if you're society has has started to push people to never put up the fight it's just take the pill, take the pill, take the pill, take the pill, take the pill. When you get to a place where you're comfortable enough to start the fight, you need to see someone and talk to someone to start to dig into what is causing the fucking problems. Mm. Because if you never do, you're just going to be taking a pill for the rest of your life. I'm a, I'm Bro, a preacher on it, but I don't even practice my own preaching. Like I, they gave me pills a long time ago that were like, yo, this is going to make you feel better. 
I had severe anxiety. I'd just gotten off drugs. I was depressed and I had really bad anxiety. I was sweating all the time, panic attacks, all that shit. I started taking pills, but I still, to this day, have never gotten better at figuring out what is causing all that shit for me. I'm an alcoholic now. I can open it. Okay, thanks. Do the leg work. That's all I'm saying. Do the do the leg work. Go to, you. It's work. Thanks. Everything in life is work. Anything that matters is work. I want to respond to what you just said. So, um, a really good comparison or a metaphor for this is. Um, <clears throat> A guy with a heart condition, right? Like you go in, your doctor tells you, yo, you're fucking up. Your heart's not working. The first thing they'll tell you to do is you got to change your diet. You got to run. You got to fucking take care of your heart. And as a last resort, maybe Love you have there. a fucking triple bypass. Yes. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like maybe you go fucking whatever. And it's the same thing with the drugs and the mental health shit. It's like everyone can just, just... You got to be honest with yourself. You got to be not afraid to fucking to admit what's going on. You could be depressed about a million different things. You could. The worst thing is when you're feeling away and you can't fucking figure out why you're feeling that way, right? And it's like, just do your best, figure out why that's happening, and just fucking try to do everything you can to remove yourself from that mentality. I and think yeah, there's as I think a there's, last result. If you cannot fucking leave your house without a Xanax. Then maybe I'm not no benzos. Okay, I can no, benzos, never get behind That was benzos. a bad example. Mm. Yeah. I can't either. Yeah. So that was a bad example. But if you can't go to work without an antidepressant, I can't whatever. imagine what a you fucking what I mean? 18-year-old kid would have to be going through for me to actually recommend that they take Xanax with no, any never, sort of regularity. That seems doctor, insane. If you're a it's doctor in this current insane. day yeah. and it's age, one of the most is evil rec- drugs of all time. Ever. It is the oh, most with all the drugs I've the ever most. done. It's not the most. Yeah. Heroines. Come on. But you, it's you the say same that. shit. It's this, in the same right? family, you know? No, it's not. Listen, ready for this? He's a fuck. He was a heroin. You, 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 I, you, I trust you. You say this. <laughs> heroin, getting off of heroin will make you want to die. Mm. You won't want to live in this planet anymore because you are going through so much pain, so much anguish. You want to die. Because I wanted to die when I got off heroin. It was the worst thing that ever happened to me. Mm. One of the worst things. When you get Congrats, off... Zan- when, when, hey, thank you, bro. I love you, bro. Thank you. You're thank a good... You. You're a fuck... I love this guy. You're the reason I'm not going to do heroin when you, this <laughs> week. <laughs> when you get off Xanax, you can die. Yeah. Yeah. That's the difference between the two. You can't die from heroin withdrawals? Not with Yo, this. You can die from heroin overdose, die, alcohol, and alcohol benzos. Withdrawals. That's it. Those two will force your body to seizure when you get off of them. If you don't get off slow enough, and you can die. A lot of people die from, from seizures from Xanax and get, getting off Xanax and alcohol. The other point I want to make to what you said about about doing better before the pills, that's exactly right. It's 100% right. Exercise yep. is one of the biggest it's things huge. Diet. that I've – diet as well. Because I remember when I was doing – when I was fucked up, I was eating fast food all the time. Mm. I was eating fast food. I was eating Wendy's. I was eating Dutch's. That's, yeah, that's, it's, would, it's all part of the same the tapestry class. of bad habits. 100%, you know? But I remember when I first started exercising, I got a bike. Right when I got out of rehab, I was in rehab for 55 days. I came home. I had no car. And I had to get to my NA meetings. And I wanted to do 90 meetings in 90 days. It was really important to me. I got a bike. It was my mom's old bike. And I was like, man, fuck. I don't know. That's a ride very my- crackhead move for the record to ride a girl's up. bike <laughs> as up. an adult. It, it is. <laughs> if you see someone riding a bike, there's a very high chance that they're a drug addict. Or or, or whatever. Because right? they so sold like, their car. By, by the way, it was a, like, it was a, a, it was a straight. Riding like a shitty bike it like sucked it, but it was a straight bar it wasn't the it was look 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 adam it wasn't the the bent one it was the straight bar so it was a men it was a men's that bike. is the deciding thing it yeah. is okay it is. okay okay so it was a men's bike otherwise it might be sus i write i rode that bike from my grandfather's house who was dying of <coughs> cancer and dementia at the time i was take i was taking care of him to the beach every day i'd ride it back and forth and i would just get time to myself that exercise kept me clean I lost 100 pounds. I was 285. Mm. Oh, God. 285. You had a fat stage? Hey, Big Mike. Hey. I had a fat stage. Did you really? How big were you? I have to, uh, I don't think I ever. I'm 230 right now. I was like 280 back in the day at one really? point. But Ooh, also, I was supposed to say. Fat. Three fat fuck. You're not, chefs, you're not, <laughs> you're, well, how are you Big Mike, but you're not the Big Mike from No Effects? <laughs> you're a fake ass Big Mike. No. <laughs> No one watching this show right now. <laughs> I know, right? Has any idea who knows? I hate is. that so much. There's so no much effects, of MXPX, so much of the stuff it, I know is useless to them. Like I know everything about like twenty or thirty years of BMX history. 
How happy were you? Useless. When, how Nobody happy cares. Were you when you came on Impulsive and you and we got to talk about I death threat and shit. Yeah, oh, no, I love that. I rode BMX my whole life. Hey, I got I got scars on my ankle right now Yo, from I, Primo Super Meat Tenderizer mm-hmm. fucking pedals. Bro. Iron Cross, DK, Iron, Iron Cross pedals. Iron Before Cross. we thought the Iron Cross was a racist thing. I had a DK A pack. I had a fucking harrow. I got robbed at knife point. I was on a paper out one time. Lowell's good for that. Lowell Mass, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, I fucking came out the mud. Listen, I was an S and M dirt bike guy. Were you ever at Hadley? Homie, I grew up. I grew <laughs> up the, the shitty up, ass skate park I grew up out there. Ah the oh, man, I shout wish, out to I Hadley. I wish I could tell the story. Actually, you know what? I can. You, you ever been to Skaters Paradise in Rhode Island? Yes. Remember he doesn't do it anymore. Place? Listen, mm-hmm. my dad. I used to go to Impact. You're too young for that. No, 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 okay. no. Shout out to K Rob. R I P K Rob, bro. He, uh, he passed away. Listen, this is a great story about Hadley. My dad used to sell packs and packs of weed, just fucking pounds. Of Hadley. Weed. No, no, not oh. a fucking no, Jesus. Christ. Just sell to the my kids. Dad was, my dad was, out, <laughs> no. my dad was real. My dad was on some real shit. He's That's old. Fire. He's all fucked up. He's not doing any of that anymore. So I can okay. talk about it. That's good. But my little brother, when he was like fourteen, stole a pound of weed from my dad. Went down to Hadley. I grew up fucking four blocks up the street. I grew up. At, um, I spent You've a been lot of my life there. <laughs> really? Like every night you know after what, you know every Tyler day Park of college. Is? Do you know where Tyler Park is? Is that one of the other skate it's parks? Like a, no, it's like a little, just like really nice, like little family park. Maybe. I don't know. It's like fucking up the street. I grew up on Holden Street. Okay. It's like fucking literally four blocks up from Hadley. Hadley's in the Highlands. Uh, no, okay. Uh, I'm talking, I was I'm at, I was at, I was at okay, college. No, I was at... Lo- Hadley, yeah. Dude, who's at fucking Hadley? Whatever. The Scarred episode where he fucking split his nuts in half. Really? Was that Hadley? Yeah. But listen, I don't know my older brother was like 14 years old. I was never a thief. I was never a scumbag. Like, my little brother... I have tattoos now, but like my little brother was tattered when he was like 16. My dad's fucking yatted up. I was always like the fucking little bookworm, got good grades, whatever. And I was like, you guys are fucking crazy, whatever. My little brother at 14 years old stole a pound of weed from my dad, went down to Hadley Park, and traded it to some like 16, 17, 18 year old kids for two bikes and like three skateboards. Wow. <laughs> Came home that night. My dad beat the f- <laughs> fuck up him and said, Good. Bro, 2 a.m., it's on a school night. Like, fuck it. Took my little brother, told fucking went to the kid's house, had to get it back. It was this big thing. Yeah. If I was trying to run a criminal oh, organization yeah, yeah. and my kid starts fucking it up, it's like, no, oh, that, dude, that you're happen. definitely allowed to no, hit your kid thing, if he uh, fucks up your bro, drug dealing yeah, business. Yeah, yeah, but the thing about you're Lowell, done. The thing about Lowell is like, everyone sells it's drugs. Like, it's like selling weed is like working at fucking market basket. Right, you yeah, know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like working in a fucking grocery, a grocery Yo, store him, for anyone else who doesn't know. Speaking of weird terminology, I said to him, we were on our way over here, I said, the packy. We gotta I go, go we got to hit the package. The package yeah. And then when I was saying it, I stopped myself. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo, we got to hit the pack. And I was like, well, he don't know what this shit is. And he goes, what were you about to say? And I go, the pack. The pack. The pack. And he was like, store. I'm The so store happy. that the Pakistani guys work yeah. at. Yeah. Dude, dude. <laughs> Wait, was that why it was it? No. Wait, what? Is no. that why it was called that? Yeah. No, it's a package store. It's a package. Nah, it's because the Pakistani fools nah, run that's it. Fucking no, 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 because no. I remember the, store, the, the package, package store. The package you go store. to get a package. Like, okay, but one time, <laughs> the, this is why I believe it that way. It's because <laughs> I remember somebody, somebody in England was like, oh, like he, so-and-so got locked up because they went out packy bashing. And I'm like, what the oh, fuck no, no, is no, that? No. And they're like, it's when dude. you go, like these racist fucking English kids would go to the fucking English store kids, and like dude. fight the fucking dudes who are. The corner just, store. I just told you, I'm like, that's crazy. I just said that two days ago. I'm like, yo, I'll hit the packy. And fucking six people in the room were like, why? Why would you do that? What the fuck are you talking about, packy? Yeah, but nobody says that. What's oh, a packy? No, away, I know, yeah. I know. And then the two British girls were like, that's fucking racist. That's a racist right, yeah, thing. Yeah. Calling a, a packy is like a racist but thing. But what the fuck is a package store? What's the package? I don't know. It's I, like I, don't know. I don't know either. I, I think you came up with that to convince yourself that you weren't racist. No, <laughs> no, not, no, not us. We were given this. Yeah, it's yeah, maybe yeah. from other races. Yeah. But, but still, there's so much shit like that. I don't know like where that. it came from, but my grandfather once in a while, I, hey, I'll hit the package store. I'm, gonna I'm just going to be totally honest. Is this Miller a package? I grew up. Is that a package? I think this is the package. Did you guys not grow up saying, oh, so-and-so Jewed me out of money? Of I course. grew up saying that. Of course, so Tom, Not anymore, but <laughs> so me and Tav, who we were talking, uh, he's he's like as Jewish as it gets. Speaks the language, goes to Israel, fucking whatever. Always whatever, and he was, yo, he says it. He says he like he, oh, like, yeah, he says course. like sure. he says fucking he, he's the, oh he's the most Jewish like with his money and shit. Well, that's the thing, bro. Like some certain <laughs> things just describe certain things. Jip then, too. Not you can't thing. say like oh he jipped me out of money. That's gypsy. Really? Oh, does it, Isn't that, that funny? Oh, I never thought of that. that yeah. I wouldn't use that. But Tav said that, and I'm like, 
I'm like, oh my god, you say that? I was like, what? He's like, what? I, what the fuck else am I supposed to say? He's like, that's the fucking word. Yeah. Like, what do I say? I respect that. I don't know. Tob's a fucking. Listen, sick. if I was I Jewish, was cheap, it would be kind of nice because then I would feel more well, access was, to saying was, all this offensive listen, shit that I they have that they this. own. I'm from Boston, okay? It's all Catholic Irish people. Jews don't exist where I'm from. No. It's very rare. Not a lot. It's very, very rare. Out here, Everyone's everywhere Jewish. else, yeah, dude. I love Jewish people. Oh yeah, I love them. All I never Jewish, got where that hatred Jew- came from. I all love Jewish, Jewish people. I love Jewish food. Here. Every Jewish person I know is fucking awesome. And and, and, and all the Jewish and, people I know out here produce they're successful. racks of girls. Bro. And like think about host successful. house. Think about host house, bro. Oh all Jewish, yes. all Jewish, and you could go there anytime. There'll be yes. fifteen Instagram models. Oh, I, yeah, we should hey. go to shout out, shout Jenny, out, host Shannon, Mikey, Shannon, fucking all of them, hey. bro. We should go to host after this, bro. I bet you they got like fifteen IG models hanging it's out. It's just called Hose right House. No host, host, the host group. Shout oh, out, host, host group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought it was just the Ho chance. House. I'm like, no, I want to go to the Ho <laughs> House. <laughs> You've been there, I think. But yeah, no, Probably. I was just, I just had this conversation two days ago, and. and and is this is it racist or or to what? There's like truth to a lot of there's truth to certain stereotypes. They're Ju- all Jewish people. Every stereotype is at least somewhat based on truth. Otherwise, people wouldn't start saying it, right? Yeah. I've never been a part of yeah, a conversation so, yeah. that I was more likely to sit out in my entire <laughs> than life. This, yeah. Why? Well, this isn't a well bad because I've been trained to like not be included in any like conversation that deals with like race or like sexuality i don't but agree what? with that That's at all so I can't. I'm yeah. I can't. as like, white men it's like we're the most important yo, group to be having on. these conversations wait, no, oh my God. i'll be i'll be honest with you i'll i will say this though i think a fun game for like youtube or for your show would be called is it racist right that would be a that dope is fucking a good game. show that's a good show oh or that actually would be funny yeah you should, yeah you should do it bro. Fuck, it except oh, you no. put you put racist in a youtube title it's oh, this is the stereotype that i was talking about though Jewish people, I'm sorry, but they're way more likely to be successful. Yeah. They're all successful. They're well, all here, they, I won't say it, but Kanye said generational wealth. Kanye's got you know, a, they, they, generation upon generation of the family like, making intelligent decisions Jewish. about that stuff. What was the Kanye know? lyric that was like um about Jew, the Jew, money. Jews take care of each other, like some shit. There was some Kanye lyric about Jew, Jewish people right. taking care of each other, like Oh my god. I can't remember what it was. I they hold it, it down. Because there's so much real history with that shit. Like yeah, that course, shit bro. that happened is fucking crazy. Mm. So I, I I can I get it. Like of that course, shit, bro. It's fucking kind of dope. I went to, I I uh, went to Tob's mom's house for uh, up Passover in, up in the dinner. valley. Yeah. I was supposed to go to it. Was it. tight. I was thinking I was. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I was we in were... a hot tub with some fucking whores and stuff. <laughs> like a fucking moron. You dude. blew it. It was fun. It was good. Oh, I really I did blow it. I it really blew it that night. Why? <laughs> He blew a load. You just gack. couldn't do it. You couldn't hold it together. I have a really, <laughs> Too much gag. I have a really shitty resolve when it comes to women, bro. Oh yeah, it's like my whole life story is like like I feel like I've been recovered from drugs, the drug being pussy, for like yeah. the last three years by having a girlfriend, even though we have threesomes all the time and all this shit. But it still feels like I'm like because I'm. That's one thing I realize about myself is that, and that's the scary thing about the idea of being single is that I'm addicted to fucking girls and to <laughs> running around do, and just to me if i'm fucking a, a bunch of girls i'm doing drugs and i'm drinking and i'm like yeah. th- th- it all comes with so it it's all one lifestyle. it's all one lifestyle and having a girlfriend sort of like saves Are me you from it big, when you were running you around, have it figured out yeah you <laughs> I like no, the closest you thing right you definitely have it per- for who you, you are doing, for who you are and what you like mm. you are doing you are living your best life when you were doing all that shit were you like be honest like spill some fucking mm. kermit tea Let's do it. <laughs> were you wrapping kermit. it up bro no like, were you out there just wearing fucking condoms listen I, 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 I've, I've never had a condom on my dick in my whole life <laughs> yo i, I can't say that's that a lie. That's i thought girls were i had to listen that's a lie <laughs> there's been a couple that's in new york city that i was like that's yo a funny thing. i was about to be like wow <laughs> there was a couple that's in new york city where i was like yo if i don't wear a condom right now my shit's gonna end up like chernobyl yeah like, literally yeah or like a thanos snap my dick is just gonna fade away bro can i can i can i say a quick little disclaimer this is where the professional shit comes in like half professional guys we're extremely lucky extra lucky to be successful and where we're at mm. 
this rewind this this is who you this is what everything that you don't want to do right yeah be, be a good kid in some in some, some do you know how no, many no, girls with people? herpes i've fucked and i didn't get herpes like i'm a ve- i'm like a because think about all these war veterans that you respect so much they went to war they had bullets whizzing by their head and they survived and that's why i respect them Respect me in that way. I went to war with all these bitches with no rubber on, and I lived to tell the tale. It doesn't mean it's a good decision for you. It's a terrible idea. No. That's the thing. Like I just because you went to a that, sixteen car pile up and survived and fucking doesn't mean other doesn't mean you want to do that. That's one, of the, that's one of the things I've dealt with that I've had trouble dealing with with this like new fame or whatever you want to call it. Like people watching is like. Bro, like I want all I want to do is be true to who I am, and that is sort okay, of a doesn't wear a con. degenerate fucking <laughs> yeah, don't moron. But at the same time, like I want people to also know the risks. And this is a conversation I've had with a lot of guests on the show too, where they're like, "I wanna, I want people to feel good sending nudes. Like you should be able to feel comfortable sending nudes." That's and I, that's and what I, you've chosen for your I, war. And this is what <laughs> to I to make what, the world a better place. And this, yeah, nudes. Don't it's send like, nudes. No, and this is what I said to him. I'm like, "Yo, you're right." People should feel comfortable sending news. Here's the problem. You should also tell them that it's not a good time in society to send nudes. It's They're going to leak. Mm. They're going to leak. It's like the same way. Someone's like, going to see it. Well, hey, well, let's act like this isn't real. I have to pee the, again. Listen, okay. I know. It's, I'm 34. Yes, no, 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 no. It's not true. It's the Already? What the fuck? I know. Well, I mean. I mean, you did drink four wait, Coronas. Wait, wait, and wait, and wait. an Arrowhead. It's not bad. <laughs> that is so bad. Four Coronas and an Arrowhead. Yeah, that'll do it. Listen, listen. The only reason why a guy, the guy's there, right? He's in, the, well, not, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Half the reason why a guy wants a nude is to show his homies. Mm, a lot of truth to that. There's a lot of truth to that. I'm going to be honest with you. So I, just know if I, you're sending somebody something, there's a fucking at least a coin flip of a chance that all his homies are going to see whatever the fuck. I just want to say much respect to Bella Thorne for leaking her own nudes instead of living in fear of the hacker. And also I want to say that I saw Bella Thorne's nudes and I didn't care at all. And it was just like... At this Bro, point, Bella's fucking who a cares? dope girl. No, she, she seems super cool. I never met girl. her, but she seems dope. She's but a good girl. I just, I was, I was happy that she did that. But also, when I was like looking at the tweet and like seeing her boob for the first time, I was like, why should any girl be worried about this? Like, they should have control well, over how it's released and everything. But why is it that big a deal, and, dude? And and the thing, maybe because we're just a little bit fucking more in the fucking right. mix or whatever. But dude, a boob's a boob, right? It's a boob. Her nipple looked exactly like what I would assume her nipple would look really like. Really did it? I mean, it was just a fucking nipple. It's a little pink a blob of it's skin. A fucking nipple. Yeah. We have nipples, and if we showed them, nobody would care. No. It's kind of weird. It's a weird thing. <laughs> I'm not right, man. We're talking about nipples. I heard that. We're talking about Bella Thorne's nipples and how she exposed them instead so of we, living in fear of that hacker. So I'm. Hey, is anyone? Still, Which is kind of a is boss. Is anyone ass. still listening right now? Yeah, we got of, we got 10k watching, and really? this will right now? and this will live on YouTube forever. All right, so then I should say this. I, we, I'm we either had, I'm either deep deep shit or people fucking love me. No, that's don't. my life. Well, I want to say I want to <laughs> say, dude, like we had we had Bella on. Oh, you two, did two two nights ago. Oh, it's oh wow, there. really. I'm trying to think of how to say this because I you want me to spill everything. Yeah, and I will. I don't wow. Know what, what happened? I, All right. this. I had Bella. We had Bella on the show the other night, and I took a hard. I took the same angle that I just said about sending nudes to her in real life. Mm. Like I said, yo, like you're right. You're right. We should all be able to send nudes, just like we should all be able to to say what we want on YouTube, just like we should all be able to t- send our mom get, our credit yeah. card number and say, Mom, yeah. buy some shit. Just like we should all be able to walk through fucking New York with the wallet in our pocket and mm. hope to not right. get pickpocket. Right. Here's yes. the deal. We're not right. fucking able to. You're right. You're right. If you send nudes right now, they're, go- they're probably going to leak, especially if you're a high-impact celebrity. And so I took a really hard personal responsibility stance. Mm. I said, yo, you need to be telling people the risks of doing it when you say that you should be able to do it. Yeah, you should be, but you can't. Mm. You know what, It though? didn't go well. Oh, she didn't appreciate I, no, that. No, no one knows this, and if you're still watching this, or even if you care, we had to refilm that episode. Really? No, completely. Because it got weird. Can I see the uncut? Not weird, can I see the, the word. Can I see the raw one? 
Can I see uh, the raw shit? I believe it was deleted. But that is a weird conversation to have because oh you God, you want to tell people. Mm -hmm. You know what it would be like? It would be like me telling somebody who's just walking around on the street on Melrose. Like you know, you want people to have that personal liberty of being able to walk around with all the money and bags of clothes and Fair expensive though. shit. Let's be more honest. This is an area where there's a lot of rich people and there's a lot of poor people that live in relatively close parameters. And there's people who want to rob people for walking around flaunting their fucking wealth out here. And it's, you know, it's the same conversation you have with girls. It's like, yes, of course I agree that you should be like nobody's comfortable wearing whatever you want to wear. You want, wherever you but at the, the same thing. time, you, you got to be smart be. and realize That's that there's, thing. you're a fucking valuable That's commodity I and you got to be careful. Everyone's on the same page that she is a victim in this. Yes, for sure. Yeah, for definitely. sure. She got fucked 100%. over. Yes. 100%. But what you're saying is. She needs to, instead of promote this, like, what the fuck, I need to be free to, like, I should be free to, I shouldn't have to worry about this. Like, no, you should worry about this. You this was, I mean, you this should was, be free. This was yeah, a mistake. you should be free. This was a mistake. But you're just Yeah, not. of course you should. Everyone's on the same page. You're the victim. You should be able to send your fucking boyfriend a picture of your tits. Like, that should be okay. Cool. But there is a risk to doing shit like that. That shit could get leaked out and whatever you could want to fucking whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I, I but, 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 but I think it, uh, the silver lining of her approach is their titties. Fuck it. Well, also, I said to her, I said, it's 2019. I, my guess is by 2025. Listen, it it would have been are, a little different if it was a video of her getting raw dogged out by oh, Nod's son. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That'd be a little different. Yes, yes. That would have been more like, I would have felt really Thumb bad. In her ass, <laughs> spit on her face. Hippie another style. dude's dick hippie in her mouth. saying some shit about being a hippie. Well, another thing I say, I said the same kind of shit to her, too. I said, like, I mean, like, what, what, what brand were you trying to save exactly? You know what I'm saying? Like, she's pretty free about her. I was surprised sexuality. when I realized that nobody had ever seen her nipples publicly like that because to me, but I mean, I guess you could say no, the same I thing about to. Tana. Tana's no, no, like no. hanging out with her all the time. Tana. I know Tana to be this wild Tana's, ass bitch, Tana's, but she don't show a nipple. Tana's engaged. Yeah. How you feel about that? He said, <laughs> "Listen, I just addressed this last night. It's some bullshit, bro. <laughs> what the relationship? I, the whole You're thing. calling it bullshit? Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> You're like part bro. of the family. I know that, but I don't give a fuck, bro. It's bullshit. Do you bro. think it's this bullshit? Dude, you don't think it's real at all? No. Oh. No, I think it's fucking for views, bro. Right. I mean, I would assume the same thing, but I'm just surprised to hear you saying it. We both know exactly what it is. There's no tilt, p fucking tea to spill. Tana and Jake." Are two YouTubers. Tana is a very extreme YouTuber in her her own right. It's kind of like what Logan's doing with you. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> he's fucking you. He's mixing you in. He's mixing you in to kind of like to broaden his like horizons. Yes, Jake. Tana's kind of a piece of shit. I love you, Tana. I'm just kidding. You're a great. Oh, no, hold on. Did she you and her ever have a thing? Do we ever have a thing? Yeah. Elaborate. Have you ever had sex with Tana? Um, I told you you had to fucking ease into this. You know, I'm not good at easing into it. That's my girl. Tan is the homie. Yeah. I, I honestly, to be real with you, I don't remember. Answer. I don't remember. Really? <laughs> yeah. Fuck, dude. But, no, but that's you a weird situation for you to be in because your former nemesis is now fake wait, marrying. Wait, did I actually just admit to, did this just happen? You Listen, me. oh my fucking God. It's my turn to talk. Let me talk. What you're about to say is Killer Keen Star Let's yeah, get right, right Into the news Oh my god Is she gonna be mad? Probably no. gonna, She's well, got a TV show to promote context, She could use a little context, anger Context Context Oh my god Tana I am sorry Alyssa I am so sorry I love you dearly No no the, to Context is important This was a very long time ago mm. This was way 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 back Wow I'm really we're This really was yeah, I was I was living in Lowell. <laughs> no, no, you weren't. No, 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 Jesus okay. fucking Christ. No, it wasn't that. It was like fucking three years ago. Listen. Yeah, there's no big deal. The only reason why it's a big deal is because it's on FaZe Banks and that's Santa Mojo. Right. Fuck, man. You just broke this shit. No, everybody's been banked. Everybody banked. I kept, this, everybody banks. I kept this a secret for three years. Listen, guys, I'm an adult. I'm 27 years old. Tana is Tana. She, I was joking when I said she was a piece of shit. She's a good kid. She's fucking a good time. She's fucking killing it. Congrats. Well, Tana. I mean, she's pretty open about her sexuality. Yeah. Like, she wants to... Like, she's, she's Listen, out here just... Tana, oh my Tana God, only has one... Fact, Tana has one God. 
As a Clout. matter of fact, as a matter oh, of fact. So I feel like this is it. fine for but her. But she owns it, and that's one of the things that I've liked about Tana since day one. Mm. I think that was what she everybody likes about her, a, is that she she's honest about it, yeah. Like, if, if, if there's a late-breaking story, she's going to headline Tana on her Tana is one of those girls that everyone likes. You have to like her. Yeah, because even you if you to. hate the fakeness and the bullshit or whatever, she owns it to owns the extent that you got to so be like, well, authenticity. That, that's why we even, can't sit here and be mad at her for having a fake relationship with Jake Paul. You can't. Oh, I'm not mad. But, I don't even know I'm what it's like, but I feel, I'm, I'm not, not even mad. I'm not Dude, mad. Dude, we all kicked it at the fucking, uh, was it the Revolve shit? Well, where were we at? Oh, we went to the uh, Fashion Nova party. Fashion Nova party, and we were all there. It was fun. And Shout I know that was fun. Shout out, Rich. Shout out Fashion Nova. Rich, Rich about to be the next fucking Bezos out here. Mm. No one even knows who he is because he keeps such a low profile. But shout I, out Rich. I'm a Fashion Nova sponsored person I this month. I know that. I've talked to him, about, I talked I to him be, about you. I really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's interesting. He, I DM'd him the other day. I got to get, what up, Rich? At Rich? <laughs> he, he keeps a low profile. Did he, he pay for that car that he that Jake allegedly gave well, Tanner got, or whatever? Wait, I gotta. Listen, I she tagged that. him on the car. Listen, don't glance over the Tanner shit. I have to fucking really disclaim it. I have to talk about this okay, now. Yeah. Let me t- to say my piece, guys. I'm a 27 year old fucking full grown man. People have sex. It happens. Okay. I especially like to dabble in sex. YouTubers. Sex. <laughs> yeah. No, not in YouTubers. <laughs> His big thing is threesomes. I'll be, Same. I'll, I'll, <laughs> we just froze. Oh, his, right? right? His? his? Yes, yes. His. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, what yeah. I meant. Like, you, motherfucker. Your big thing is threesome. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Tana, me and Tana. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. We, yeah, one night, it was one time, it was fucking whatever, it was, we're friends. It's love, love. It's how was, how was it good? Um, yeah, I mean, I love everybody for everybody. That yeah. sounds like an like an escape. No, to be real, to be real, we were fucked up. It was at a party, and I really don't remember. It was you had to use the, You were so fucked. You had to use the shoehorn to get your stick. <laughs> no, you had to tie a popsicle <laughs> stick to it. You stuff your soft <laughs> rubber bands. Tie a po- tie a po- wow, I gotta try that one. The popsicle stick? That's fucking crazy. Cool. That's what like, I have to do. Like, little brace. Just like, you have brace. that stick that runs Too up much coke? Yeah, ties. yeah. I'm, I'm shoving a pencil in there. <laughs> oh, my God. A shoehorn. To keep it... <laughs> Shoehorn is too big, Mike. Remember shoehorn? Dude? Oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes when you go to buy like some Gucci shoes or whatever, it'll have a fucking shoehorn in the box, right? Yeah. Wait, a shoehorn. We're talking about the, it's the, a the little, little scoop that you use to put your shoe on. To get your heel in, so you don't fuck up the back of the shoe. Twenty-seven years, never fucking heard of that in my life. <laughs> Yo, I think it might be a White thirty trash. plus thing. Nobody <laughs> from fucking Lowe's or something. They didn't invent that I, yet out there. I don't know what a fucking. They used shoe to manufacture is. those in Lowe. Not anymore. <laughs> it got shipped off to China. Yo, fun fact: CBS started in Lowe. Really? Major dub, yes. Look it up. Fucking Google it. They you ever, pay, you ever been to Lakewood, California? No. Well, that's the location of the first Denny's. Really? I would argue that CVS is way more important than Denny's. Wow. You guys ever had pizza in New Haven, Connecticut? Mike, don't try Just to compete any with this. pizza? No, it, yes. Yes. Well, I mean, no. You ever no. had... Probably, where, where you, maybe. Where would the like best pizza, pizza in the world pizza, be? Mean? Triple East Pizza or uh, Chrissy's Pizza in... Uh, at the beach in fucking Hampton Beach. I, was, I spent a lot of time in Hampton pizza. as a kid, although I ate at Shiloh. The, 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 the seafood stands out in my head as like a powerful Markies memory, but not the pizza so Markies much. Markies and Browns? The lobster spots? I don't even remember. We should just be on so I, so I won't even eat, I won't even eat pizza Shout out, out to here. Petey's. I won't even eat pizza out here. New oh, Haven, yeah, Connecticut. Yeah, right? It's, New it's, it's New done. Ha- people, talk about, people talk about New York pizza. New mm. York City pizza, the big ass slices and shit. New Haven, Connecticut has the best pizza in the world. You could search this. You could look on any fucking Google. Peppy's Pizza, Sally's Pizza, Modern Wait. Bar, New Haven, Connecticut. You say Peppy's Pizza. Peppy's Pizza. That used to be. You guys have words with your groups of friends. Peppy. Peppy was my word. Really? What does it mean? Like Peppy Le Pew. Like yo, you're, you're a get, skunk. Like let's get Peppy tonight. Like let's fucking. You're Peppy. Like, you're being up. Peppy. Like is yeah. that like let's even, send even it? Is that like let's send even it? Even an aggressive thing. You and your boys are all two kids are playing NHL. One's fucking. Like, start talking shit. Yo, stop getting peppy. I'm, I'll fuck Oh, peppy. Like, P-E-P-P-Y. Like, you're, getting, you're getting fucking uh, peppy. You know, you know I mean? did you grow up with anyone saying pissa? Pissa, no. Because, like, wicked pissa? Yeah, because That's if you... That's not a fucking real... Maybe Nobody be, I grew up around would pissa. say that, but then I would wicked, watch wicked on uh, Saturday Night Live that there would be, like, this skit making fun of people from New England, Boston New Hampshire, shit. Boston yeah, and yeah. shit, and they'd be like, oh, it's wicked pissa. That's, and I'm sitting here, I grew up in this shit. I never, never heard pissa no, before. Piss. We started saying it because That's we heard people say it on wicked SNL. Wicked is a real thing. I lost it. It bothers me. I what, wicked? Have, yeah, I used Oh, it's wicked fucking gay, kid. Wicked fucking cool. I still say it like a religion. And I don't care if I'm around fucking young Dolph and I 
I know Young Dolph has never heard anyone say wicked, wicked. in his life. Yeah. I'm still saying it. Yeah, listen, because listen. I'm taking my culture and I'm shoving it down your throat. Well, I gotta bring it back because I used to, I used to have the most gnarly Boston accent. I used to say instead of fire, I would say fire. Fire. It's fire. Yeah. That shit's fire. Is the weed good? Is it? It's fire. It's fire. If it's I fire. start getting drunk, all of a sudden I start talking like the way I fucking no, grew up. No, when I go home. Oh, and when I go Alyssa, home, oh my god, yeah. For, for Christmas, she's like. Why are you doing that accent? Yeah. I'm like, what are you talking? And it makes you feel kind of dumb. When people like, when people do coke, are they skiing? Mm, I never said that. I don't know. But maybe maybe as a joke. No, this is me. I walk into the bar back yeah, home. This is the last time I ever went back because my, my family moved out here. I don't know if I'm ever going back. I walk into the bar. My fucking friend sees me across the bar and he just yells, What's up, you fucking faggot? And I'm like, that's oh, the thing. I'm back. That's, that's I'm what back. I'm talking about on the East Coast, bro. I Dude. just went back out there recently to visit, and everybody still says it. He Dude, yelled listen, it at the bar, and shit. nobody even looked bro, at him. If, of course. If you say that shit out here, you are fucking yeah. canceled. Homophobe. Yes. I don't know, about canceled, where, I don't know about exactly where you're from and how this, so I'm really going to get like kind of controversial. But you got to understand, listen, everyone grows up in a little bubble, and I grew up for a good majority of my childhood without any internet, and then I had the internet, and it wasn't like the internet is today. So a 13-year-old kid watching this, you might not be able to relate, but I did not, I had my fucking, where I was from, right? These words, right? Like mm. fucking, like, like that's gay or whatever. Like never in a million years, listen, I don't want to impede on anyone's happiness, please, by all means. Whatever the fuck you want to do, as long as it doesn't hurt me, do it. And I genuinely mean that. I want you to be nothing but happy. I genuinely mean that. But we used to use that as an adjective for fucking everything. Some, for something. Being, I use that word which more. Is, which is which is fucked up. The store is it out is, of gum. No, it's fucking gay. It is <laughs> fucked up. It is <laughs> fucked up. But it was my way of life. And oh, people yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah. And what you just said. You would see a fucking guy. You see a fucking guy that you. He could be your best friend. You, you call him a fucking, you know what no. I mean? And it's like not a big fucking deal. The other one was the fucking end bomb. Not no a hard, day. With not day. a hard R. Day. But dude, I grew up around fucking black homies, Hispanic homies, Asian homies. Never a thing. And bro, never that, a problem. Bro, that really? was it a problem where you were at? You know, I just felt like I never said it, but yeah, of course, like growing up, it was a pretty normal dude, thing for dude, white dude, kids dude, to not say. Only, yeah. Not only was it, it was so beyond not even in my mind mm. as a bad thing to say or a hurtful thing to say, because I would say this with my fucking best homie that's black and mm. it would be no issue. And with his brothers and we would all call, it was a term of endearment. Like, yo, fucking... You know what I mean? Like it's, it's just it's just it's I've just obviously, changed, it's just obviously, changed obviously, now. The because with is, social media, you could see what maybe, everybody but, is doing, but, so the yeah. rules are much more established now. You know, that's fine. That's fine. All the change is fine. The one thing I'll say is like, it, it's weird how like words can go from good things to bad things to good. Like like yeah. originally, the word. Damn, bro, I suck. F a g g o t yeah. meant a pile of sticks. That's a pile of sticks. You, you pull it up right now. Nobody ever used it like that. Uh, someone, someone did. Before our time. Back in the day, someone used did. it as a pile yeah, of fucking so, sticks. You're right, you're right, you're right. Then, it, then it became like a joke to like call somebody that. Like, no, no, because you you're not cool. In the UK, the word fag is completely okay. Completely. Mm. Bro, think cigarette. about, think about, in Aus, think about in Australia, mm. where to be a fucking funny cunt. Yeah, is, is the thing. best thing in the. Yeah. Do you know how many DMs I get a, a day Cut. that are like, "You're my favorite fucking cunt on the internet." Yeah, you Cut say that shit in the United fucks. States, you are dead. I still That's love bad. saying cunt. I'm not gonna lie, I love cunt. cunt. No, I feel like cunt is one that has lost its meaning for sure. Which is out good. here. Yeah, I it's slowly cunt. withering well, away. Yeah. Up, oh my god, that was the nuke. That's the bit. It's 100%. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you're in a fight with your girl or you're a fuck god for You're a cunt. Mom, your mom, She's out. Dog. She's out the Yo, door. As soon as you, you drop that over. shit, it's fucking You call over, your mom a dude. fucking cunt. Over. You're get, your dad's coming home. He's beating your ass. Your big brother's in the next room. He's beating your ass. She's fucking not fucking with you. Cunt was bad. It was the one word. It was bad. Dude. It was always the one word. Like if, you, if you got in a fight and you call your mom a bitch, like I've done all that oh, because bitch, I, got bitch, kicked bitch, out, bitch, I got kicked out when I was 17. For selling drugs. <laughs> I used, I used 17 years old. I was sleeping on couches. Every fight I got, I said, you bitch, I like all this shit to my mom. I still regret it. And I've done everything right from that now on. The only thing I got left to do is buy her a range, which I'll do in the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. Mom, I love you. A range if you car. said the word cunt oh my God. to your mom or your girl, you were getting fucked up. It, that, it's the one word to a woman that has every... It's bad. 
It's a nuke, you're right. Mm. Bit, by the way, I've been asking, I've been taking polls. Bitch, it's over. We win. Bitch, bitch is cool? Bitch is a cool word. Really? Cool word. That's my bitch. Like, yo, what up, bitch? Like, hey, fucking, what? I, maybe in just in my group of friends, but I've, I've been asking. Yo, but, this bitch, when, I, when people say, yo, invite some bitches, or where the bitch is at, does it offend you? No. What the fuck? Not at all. But it's all about the context too, though, because we're context talking about how, but how, Dude. how cunt has become a lot less powerful. But if I go home to my girlfriend and we get in a little argument and I say, "Listen, cunt, shut the fuck up," yo, she's crying her eyes. Listen, That's the yeah, meanest sure, thing I could possibly sure. say listen, if sure. you use it in the right listen, context. Is context, right context is with that word? the only thing that should be highlighted or talked about is the context, the feeling, the the, the emotion behind whatever you're doing. Good example to take it from verbal to physical. If I told you, yo, before I came on this podcast, I fucking slapped my girlfriend in the face. Everyone listening, you guys, you're a piece of shit. But if I told you, yo, me and my girl, we're having crazy sex, we're fucking whatever, I was fucking talking crazy, I fucking slapped her, she loved it. I said, now I slap my well, girlfriend. But in the face. Understand, and it's cool. It's fucking. But right. understand the she reason. She liked it. I liked it. It was great. The context, context means everything. But the reason why shit leaves context is because of SJW. Mm. And it's because of news outlets. And it's because of people that want to create hype out of something that isn't there. Mm. The easiest way to fuck someone in this day and age is to remove context. Yeah. Oh, we, we whenever are, you see the old tweets, that's 100% what it is. Yeah, we're working yeah. so hard on getting Shapiro on the show right now. Really? Shapiro's wow. our, Shapiro, we, we have episode 100 coming that. up. All I want is Shapiro. I want either Shapiro, Rogan, I think Bill Zarian's down, whatever, right? But don't you, isn't the whole project with this supposed to make Logan's image better? Now you're going to put him on with so a Nazi you know like what? Ben so Shapiro? We brought on I like, I, I'm cool fucking, with Ben Shapiro. Right, I don't think he's, he's a Nazi. He's using it in the way he's that not a Google, fucking he's not I don't think he's a Nazi. By the way, he's not even a fucking right. He's not even that far right, dude. He's, he's really not. But, he seems but pretty far he, right. He is, but not like... No, no, he's, no, he's not, not like, a far no, right. right. No, no, no. He's like a conservative little creep. He's like, a conservative, and he's views, real about it. He's yeah. pretty reserved on like a lot he, of He's anti, like, you know, homosexuality to a certain extent. It's like, okay, like, like when I hear him talk about the abortion side things, I'm like, there is an argument to be had here. I'm not opposed to Ben Shapiro having his own opinion yeah, about yeah. abortion. Is he anti well, uh, homosexual? I know he's He told anti- Dave Rubin that he wouldn't go to his wedding because it's a celebration of homosexuality and that's one oh, thing that they've kind of got a homosexuality or, or or a celebration of homosexuality and its relation to being able to wed someone. Right, but I think that he said like, that he would go to a, a party for Dave Rubin that that him and his husband were throwing or whatever but he wouldn't go to the marriage yeah, to the marriage ceremony that's which yeah. I think it's that's kind of ridiculous. Going off but, the but but listen, now no, we're, we're getting to the point yeah, where man. being honest about your religious beliefs is just getting construed as hatred and I'm going to be honest I'm a person who's been an atheist since I was a little kid. Same. But when I look at what religion is, it's like I want to protect the right of the of religious course. fucking co- uh, the, the cake of shop course. to not make a cake that they feel is sinful. Of course, they shouldn't be fucking forced to do that. It's insane. Right, 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 Go right, to right, some right. other cake shop. We yeah, had, yeah. we had, Alex. you should be able to just, dude, I said it earlier. It's this simple. You should just be able to do whatever. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone else. Do mm. so long as there's no victim we, to what you're doing. We had Alex Jones on. And yeah. we had out. We had Alex Jones on. Yes. He's, he's that on was mind. wild. I got on a call 30 minutes before having him on with someone in Connecticut. They said to me, "I just got off the oh, phone wow, with a yeah. Sandy Hook parent, who Alex Jones said Sandy Hook never happened." He's a piece of shit for that. They He's just told me that, that if you punch Alex Jones in the fucking face on that podcast, they will write you a check for hundred thousand dollars. You should. You'll get sued for way more than hundred thousand dollars. Way more. <laughs> so, and, I, and by the way, I said it to him you're on right, the show. You're right, you're right. I said it to him on the show. I said there are Sandy Hook parents right now that want me to punch you in the fucking face mm. for telling these parents that their kids didn't die, that there were crisis actors, that this was all an act to drive guns. But let's be real, the Alex Jones thing has nothing to do with what he said about Sandy Hook. It has to do with him being an easy target for the left to de-platform and they successfully did it. And what he said about that shit, yeah, I agree, it's super offensive, but it wasn't about what he said. It was about him being an easy target. Dude, you should be able to say whatever the fuck you want. You let the people decide. You let people decide what's right and what's wrong. The de-platforming shit that happened to to him is so disgusting. Disgusting. Dude, Let's go to Crowder. It's, Crowder it's, will be on in the next week. Really? Dude, Crowder dude, will be on in the next week. Exciting. Hold on a second. Really? Oh, shit. Crowder will be on in the next that's week, cool. maybe two weeks. I can't remember. Oh, fuck. I, Logan's going to Sweden. I can't remember the exact date. That's cool. You said people should be able to do whatever they want as long as there is no victim. 
Yes. Crowder's change my mind. Crowder's. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you said that. Crowder's situation technically had a victim. Wait, wait, Not wait. really. This is a bullshit. Dude, he no, wasn't no, really no, a no, victim. No. Okay, bro. I mean, like a phys- like somebody physically. Crowder's the victim listen, and all that. Listen, dude. I get dude. it. I get it. I'm not. Dude. I'm not saying you're wrong. Hold on listen, a second. We're all, all I'm saying is this. something. He he repeatedly. How do you defend someone who repeatedly goes out of their way to diss someone else or to or to mock their sexuality? Or but anything, he really right? didn't, and that's the thing is that Wait, Carlos he? took six years or however many of clips of one. Steven Crowder and then zeroed in on it. You would think, based on that fucking supercut that Carlos made, that yep. lo- that he just sits there and just says homophobic shit all the time. No, those videos are actually like dismantling or at least critiquing and criticizing political ideas and he has had the gall to to acknowledge that this dude is gay a few times and so now he's got all kinds of people including well-meaning right center right people believing that steven crowder was actually filming like hate speech for youtube it's not true it's not true at all and it was never the case and And he's still demonetized he's demonetized but they but that was actually a really important decision on youtube's behalf that they didn't take his channel down when they had everybody from Vox, et cetera, breathing down the neck. But they realized that the, the reality is if you were going to get rid of Stephen Crowder, then you got to get rid of every single everybody. late night host. Yeah. Because they all are saying shit about Trump being gay, Trump sucking Putin's dick, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, all that yeah, shit's yeah. more offensive than anything Crowder ever said about this Carlos guy, yeah, yeah. who is a fucking douchebag, for the record. I've seen, I've seen a lot of I don't know too much about the guy, whatever. Listen. Ben Shapiro and Crowder, they got a little weird. They're they're weird guys. Yeah, I don't agree with them. They got they got weird, weird thoughts and and whatever. But they also that's the beautiful thing about letting everyone speak. Because you can listen to somebody from one complete opposite end and another person, and you could take like there's a reason why there's two sides, right? Mm. There's enough merit to both sides where they have enough they have support, significant support, right? That's why you got the left and the right. So obviously these people both have something that they that there's there's some substance to what they're both saying. Is there or or does one side really just want to see the world burn? Do you know what I'm saying? Like here's my question. No, but wanting to see the world burn is still a political position. Yeah, but, but, but still but, an attitude. But like yo, but how, I don't think so. how far I don't think so. In what in what and, and listen, I'm just playing devil's I think advocate. These people, I think, in what how far do you go to protect the rights of people to pass policy or to pass their opinion by using hate speech or by using disses or by even using a a speech that is offensive to anyone. Do you know what I'm saying? Because listen, if you want to get from point A to point B, you can drive a car. If you want to do it the hard way, you can walk or crawl. Using hate speech or using shit that demeans or fucks people up to get somewhere is crawling. There's other ways to do it. You don't have to do that. You don't have to... The dude is gay. The dude at Vox is gay. You don't have to use that. There's other ways to get yeah, it. He done. barely used it. Other, no, no, but I'm still saying he barely exactly used it. Exactly. Like what, what, what does have him being gay have it, anything to do with anything? Why does why why does Crowder have to use it? He doesn't. It? But he, he doesn't. barely used it. That's the whole thing. Is that I it's mean, being there was enough in that super cut to, Over a course of like five or six years, you know? It's like at the end of the day... That Carlos dude is mad that Steven Crowder makes videos critiquing his political positions. At the end but of the that, day, though, but you can't get people deleted for that. So dope, he's trying to get them deleted because he called him gay a couple times I, over the course I, of I, a I, long I, period of time. He shouldn't be deleted. But what you're saying, I completely agree with. He just doesn't have to. One time or six times, like you don't have. It's to. just like, to me, it seems like it the just, easy way. Out. Like the like same seems, thing, what it all same boils thing. down to is he's just trolling the guy. He's that's what it felt like off. to me. It's the he's same thing as people that get and like. It's the same thing as people that get. He's saying something that's gonna piss him off, and like everyone and, and does. Crowder that. got right up to the line because he knew that if he made the socialism is for fig shirt, that he wouldn't be crossing the line. But if he had made a shirt that said socialism is for fags, yeah, it's over. You know, fucked. like he got right up to the line. Well, it's just it's just like this. It's like Crowder does the same kind of stuff in a similar vein. I hate to say it, but that Jake Paul does. It's like, how do I create some visceral moment through an engagement to Tana Manjo at fucking Dre's in Vegas to create a buzz 
that I couldn't drive through the actual conversation that should be taking place. Mm. So like people that are good at what they do, they're so good, so authentic that they can drive home points and have conversation based on their authenticity and ability to drive things home. And just being bluntly and honest. And being bluntly honest, honest and saying in the right way. People that have to cheat to get views through some like fake viral bullshit or by calling someone names, at the end of the day, they will never be as cool, as big, as authentic as the people that get it done the right fucking way. All I'm going to say, though, is that Carlos is the one who led the fake fucking viral campaign by pretending to be a victim, which is, yeah. to me, far more sinister than anything I, Crowder's yeah. done. I find Crowder and some of the shit he says super offensive. Not a big fan of a lot of the stuff he yeah, says. He but su- he at the end of the day, a lot of ways. A, the, the left is turning people like Alex Jones and fucking Ben Shapiro and Stephen Crowder into free speech heroes because the left is taking a side that For no, sure. the sure. mainstream political crowd, nobody is ever going to get on board with that. And actually, when they actually do polling, they find that people are horrified by all this shit, and everybody thinks the left's but going too both, far. But on both sides, dude, there's, there's a lot like, of people like, on the like left that think exactly the right is what they're going trying to like not like they're exactly they're creating the people that they Vox get. and them are feeding yes, into yes. everything that everybody on that's in the, the center, problem, everybody who's not a far leftist hates this shit, and that's why dude, that's the problem. They're gonna lose the this election is, if they the don't fucking shape up. Being gay has nothing to do with anything. Nothing. It's literally why the fuck is anyone even talking about it? But now with this, this like, well, the gays are on this side and this is on this side. Now it becomes a thing where like, now, now people might actually have it installed in their brain where like, you know what? If you're fucking gay, then you must think this way. Mm, yeah, yeah. And that's the fucked up part, dude. Because no, because if you're fucking gay, then you're gay. Cool. If you're you were gay, to go and poll, it doesn't, it your speech. It doesn't, yeah, yeah, it, doesn't yeah. it doesn't define any other part of your life. That's one part of your life. That's your fucking shit. Yeah. Do you think that's one of the biggest problems? That's we've, why it's a we've fucking created problem. in this country that if you identify with any protected group, that you have to also identify with the party that that and like, every, all of the positions that 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 party dude, the takes party on. Is yeah. Whack. I, yeah. I, I talk. I had, we had Eric Weinstein on the podcast yesterday. He's Peter Thiel, the, the inventor of PayPal's capital manager. Computer deals were $2.5 billion. This dude is one of the smartest economic I didn't and know mathematician that about Eric. That's people. crazy. Crazy. Wow. Okay. We had him on yesterday. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And my salad's almost here. And also, I have to piss really bad. So I feel like. Should we shut it the fuck Do you want to shut it down? I feel like. What? Yeah. I, we do you want to shut it down right here? We, dude, we just did two and a half hours. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. We'll let's let's just say goodbye real quick and just sort of fucking send it off. We'll all go urinate. Our urethras will explode. <laughs> what else? Like, should we have some like closing thoughts? I um, think you guys should just give give your shout outs and stuff, and then we we could. Oh, look at this. Mike six beers deep, not listening to anyone, just ready to yell LMAO. Mike, let others talk. Just with the- <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know it was gonna be that negative when I started no, reading it's it. That's fine. I, I respect all the negative shit, dude. <gasps> dude I can't believe there's the nine thousand people the hearing us talk podcast. about this. Shout out wise guys. Podcast. And also CF Lips had great talk on mental health east coast love from mass shout oh, out to yeah. cf lips oh, yeah. hey yo this was a fucking great talk that's that's Ooh. the main reason i feel like we might as well tap out at this point when our urethras are about to explode because we note. could easily do this any other time yeah, and, yeah. and get into it easy hell yeah yeah this we is, talked about nothing and everything this is like we impulsive but on perks <laughs> or steroids or some shit. <laughs> i actually have yeah, never By really done way, perks so. <laughs> yeah you gotta come back get, on I, you have to come on for the first time. I told mm. him I'll go on under one condition. Ready for this? I get to sit in his seat. Really? And I, I agree to, to it. I have to sit in his chair. He's, he's tapped out because it's salad, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, listen. Uh, I'm going to do my little thing. Guys, my my Hello? my opinions reflect only my fucking brain that's inside my head. Mm. I'm a 27-year-old kid. I never asked for any of this. I love everyone who supports me and loves me. Um, I wish nothing but the best for everyone. I love everyone, honestly. Um Adam, I'm a big fan of you. You know, yeah, hey, I'm a big fan of you. I appreciate you. You're a fucking you. great dude. Thank you, man. Mike, I'm glad that we're friends. Um, you're a fucking good guy. I couldn't have asked to do this with two better people. Oh, we're yeah. gonna talk a lot more in the future. I feel like the, the, this is definitely gonna have a part two to it. Oh, Let's yeah, do it's it. Got it. Wait, yeah. was it that good? Was it good? I thought it was, oh, great. It was great. Okay, we cool. hit every fucking topic really quick. Follow Hey Big Mike on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, we got the Impulsive Podcast uh, episode 100 coming up. I'm not the only person here that's six beers deep. If you just move this box, Banks is just better at hiding than I am. Chicago, <laughs> this weekend, Chicago. Let's go. 
We crushed the 12 racks. Shout, yeah, we did. I, even I had shout two out, of them. Shout out everybody that watched never this drink shit. On this um, podcast. I'm sorry I talk a lot, but I just, I don't know. Everybody out there, appreciate you guys. Follow Big Mike. Follow FaZe Banks. No Jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes. We're peeing everywhere. FaZe up, bitch. Ow.